bum 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 hi it's not expecting another stream so soon you thought wrong bitch here i am hi all right we're getting back to Ugh. reset my fucking Ooh, there we go getting back to battle network five today Let's jump right in. All right. Let's go. <laughs> Whoa. I did not realize my volume was like very low yesterday. Uh, sorry about that, folks. <laughs> um, so we are in Scilab. Okay. Let's go check Scilab 3. All right, that's our next destination. Be recruiting hopefully Shadow Man to the team next. Had a nice little uh, coffee lunch kind of thing with some folks today. Had a uh, friend that came in from out of town for a little bit and got together with uh, a few folks. Tank Cannon. Let's see here. Three square blast if hits end row. Oh. Oh, you know what? You know what? Mm, I'll get it later. I I, I want to get the C cannon for the program advance at some point. God, oh, I just keep getting geyser and I can't fucking use it. Or I'm too stupid to know how to use it. Oh. Boomer. Did I get? Did I put the boomers in my? I did. Okay. So McMaffo, time for more cyber shenanigans, indeed, Lloyd. Saying hi, but going to bed in five. I don't even, I have no sense of your time zone. I'm sorry. Ooh, hello. Boink, custom one. Ooh. I probably don't have room for that. Nope, sure don't. Stream again this weekend. Oh, wide blue. Gonna stream again this weekend or gonna chill with family and friends for Memorial Day. Uh, I'm not gonna be with family, so I will uh, probably be. Um, I will probably be streaming uh, this Saturday, likely. Likely. Twelve thirty-six over there. You're in Europe, right? I forget where in Europe you are. Excuse me. Boink. That's two. Hold on. Whip. Hold on. 
slight adjustment. There we go. Adjusting my camera a lot. Oh. Warning, warning, Scilab 2 is currently under the control of Nebula. Entry by ordinary navvies is forbidden. Check out immediately! Khan. What about Dio? What can Dio do? Oh, I see something big and intimidating over there. Clouds. Cloudman was uh, one character I was uh, oh I was quite happy to see uh, included in uh, ooh ooh hold on um, I was quite uh, happy to see uh, turned exe in um, in this series because. Uh, I was a big fan of uh, Mega Man 11. That was one of my favorites. So, okay, let's see. A B A R A L R B B A. Nice. Why not? That's four colors. Oops. Wait. Wait. Will it work? Um, I'll try it and see if it doesn't break everything. Mayhaps. Welcome, Atomic Animator. Ooh. Oh, I, yep, okay. Well, that answers that. Boink. Okay, well... Mega Man, my emotion window is buggy. There we are. Okay. Maybe swap out the attack program. No, I don't wanna. We get one of the memory expansion thing. Ooh, hello. Uh, we get one of the memory expansion things in uh, what's it called? Uh, the ship comp, whatever that is. Thunder Soul. No, I want the tr. Hey, here's a question. Is the speed stat in this game about how rapidly you can fire shots, or is it about how quickly you can charge up your buster? Because I'm actually curious of that. Ooh, wait, wait, wait. Let's try this. PPP. Double Soul! Night Soul!
speed is rapid. Oh, okay, okay. You know, actually, okay, then in that case, hold on. Hmm. Okay, yeah. You know what? I'm gonna do some rearranging. Because I want. Oh, fuck. Hold on, hold on. I want a charge. Charge max is more important. Yeah, okay. I might not even... Ugh, man. I might not be able to actually do it. Mm. Or, hold on, hold on. Let's figure something out here. Let's compress custom one. L B A B A L B. There we go. Okay. Let's try that. Let's try this. Let's, let's see how this goes. Okay. Give that a give that a good old shot. Are we already jumping into a liberation mission? Or no, we're probably gonna need to recruit Shadow Man, I'm assuming. This leads to the next area slated for liberation. Oh, also, hold on. Let me, before I start to go down this path, is my audio normal? Yes, it is. Okay, good. It's normal like it should be. What's that cloud-like thing? Can we make it through? I'll try. Here goes. Ugh. Mega Man, are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. But this cloud's dark power is blocking the way. It's phone! It's phone. I see you have arrived at your destination. Describe the surroundings to me. The route to Silab 3 is blocked by a dark cloud. A dark cloud. A dark power is spilling over. That could be trouble. Very well. Len, head back for now. Roger. Mega Man Jack out. Okay. That was enough to turn them back. How pitiful. Master, should we take care of it? Shadow Man, there's no rush. We will continue to observe things a while longer. There is no reason to get involved in risky battles. But who was Fawn? Welcome, Kuchu Flichan. Good to catch the scream. I wish Chris was real. Yeah, me too. Closer to the shop, I wonder. I wonder. I think he might be. Let me see. Oh, the Buster Pack program. Oh. I wonder, oh, can I get that in, uh, 
in a, in a lotto number? Maybe I'll look into that in a minute. Boink. There you are. I'll take one of these, please. And I'll take one of these, please. Excellent. Okay. Okay. Uh -oh. Boink. Nice. There's plenty of stuff to sacrifice for both... Uh, what looks like... Uh, both... I can sacrifice stuff like this for King Soul, and I've got a few chips for Tomahawk Soul, which I believe will be getting this stream. I was able to catch up in the archive during... Oh, sweet. Glad you're, you're still with us, Kudo. Appreciate it. Don't goof off all day just because school's canceled. Uh, let's see. MNBN5 lotto numbers. Uh, let's see. Heavy part. Oh, bus Buster Pack. Oh, okay, okay. Let's take a look at that. Okay. 802... Four, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. So check. Buster pack. Okay. Let's see. Buster pack. Where's the buster pack in here? Buster pack. Okay. Right. Ooh, that might be a little hefty. R. Okay. Hmm. Yeah. Buster Pack's gonna probably have to wait until, uh, a little more. Um. Oh, Body Pack is just, like, bloated. and barely even fit in here anyway. Um. Okay. Okay. I'll hold on to that. I'll hold on to that a little later. But, uh. Now we've got it, so good to know. Am I going to use the base soul uh, at any point? Uh, I possibly. Um, I was told that you can only fight base if you have it, and you can just go straight up fight him. So maybe after I beat the game, we'll see. We'll see. Chip dealer, secret dealer. Oh, Tubi's really hot right now. Uh, okay. Take this last chip. You're the luckiest guy in history. It should cost 10,000 but I'll cut you a better deal. I don't even have 2,000, so... Oh, no. Really? You don't want it? You sure? No way. Oh, well. Um, I resent you, to be honest, but whatever. I just see you as Flamenco. Vile from Mega Man. I love him, though. Who's Flamenco? What do you mean? Oh, there's more liberation missions in the post-game? I would love to do those. Mayhaps. Mayhaps we will. Time already? Okay. Good night, Lan. King from Mega Man and Base is not in this game, unfortunately. They never had a, uh, a King.exe. There is a Kingman.exe who is a net navvy, a fan made one. We restored the network that leads to Scilab area, but we couldn't make it to the occupied area. Yeah, I guess we'll just have to see how things develop. I just can't stand knowing that our enemies are right around the corner, but we're not able to act. I know what you mean. Len, you've got mail. It's from Pride. I'll read it. Len, I was mining magnum metal on Oran Isla when a ninja navvy challenged me to a battle, saying he wanted to test my abilities. But in the blink of an eye, he stole some vital Nightman programs. Nightman is immobilized without those programs. Please, lend us your help. Wow. A ninja navvy? That must be Shadow Man. First us, then Pride and Nightman? What's he up to? At any rate, we've got to help Nightman. Mining magnum metal? That must be in the drill. Let's head for Oran Isle. Welcome, Trevor. You haven't missed much. We've just started. Just absolutely zero acknowledgement that Pride was formerly a fucking criminal, I guess. Oh, 
Hold on. It's rather lonely without Glide here talking up a storm. Could never beat Nebula Grey. Oh, wow. Oh, well, we'll be, we'll be beating them. Don't you worry about that. Ta-da. Miss Yai's latest obsession is goldfish. I see. Oh! Sword. Wide sword. Long sword. Program advance. Life sword. Triple delete. You still think what Tesla does in Proto Man is worse? I can't remember what she did that's so horrible. It's been a long time. Cannonball C. You're a Mega Man, right? Miss Guy entrusted me with the P code for this webpage. She told me that if you stop by, I should give the code to you. Please use it. Thank you. Come again soon. Whoop. Revenge for her father's defeat in battle number two. Oh, is she like making the drill go fucking crazy? And uh, uh, what's it called? Oh, look at Yai's fucking image. That's funny. Um, is she that's right? Is she the one like controlling the drill and making it like do all that shit? I can't remember. Oh, she was just having a little bratty. Yeah, that sounds like Tesla, for sure. So where is Melu's house? I don't remember. Is it up further? I just want to link. I want to link that house as well. Point. If you get to the cruise ship and you get the option to check the buffet, do it. Okay, I'll, uh, I'll have to remember to do that then. What oh, is this? No, this is Melu's house. Here we go, okay. Can I get a link link? How about linking this webpage with Lamb's? Then you can come to go directly between his page and Melu's. Shall I link them? Yes. I knew you wanted to create a link. Here, take this. Use this banner to come here. Okay, now I'll place a link. Hiya! Oh, teddy bear. Okay, now. With the newest trilogy, they wanted to adjust course with how the anime wrote characters like Pride and Match. Explain how Match be- Well, Match just seems to be, like, all over the place, just constantly reinventing his life somehow, but, like, Pride had a very distinct, like, single role in Battle Network 2. These days, I often get to thinking, isn't there something I could do to help Gutsman? Phone, can you please just fucking continue to charge? I'm telling you guys, I don't know if it's either my charger or if it's the actual, like, uh, port with my phone or what. So fucking 
aggravating. Maybe I should go out and try to get my mind off things. Just wanted to check on all my friends. Time bomb is good as well. That should be good. Okay. I don't have any other chargers. That's the thing. Um, the one in my uh, in my car, here in my car. Uh, sometimes it can be finicky too. That's why I've been confused as to whether or not. Yeah, that's the reason. That I have I have the one at home and the one in my car, and they're both uh, they're both finicky at different points. So. Most and least favorite Battle Network game? Hmm, what am I doing here? What's it to you? It's a free country, and it like empty places like this. <laughs> now that you know, you get lost, will ya? No, oh, wait a minute. We didn't meet here just by chance. I'll let you have this rare colored tornado chip cheap. Can't get anywhere else. It's a real find. Where'd I get it? Does it really matter? <laughs> uh, don't buy. I see. Couldn't care less whether you buy it. <laughs> Alright, fucking creepo. Jesus Christ. Um... You know what? I'll get back to you with an answer on that question after I uh, finish um, playing all six of them. But I am reminded that this is one of my favorites because I am just loving every second of it so far. I keep thinking I'm gonna run into, like, overworld enemies here, but I'm like, no, this is the real world. There are no enemies here. Except for creepy guys that fucking hang out in caves for no fucking reason. Mr. Famous! Hey, Alan. Um. Mr. Famous, what are you doing around here? I've developed an anti nebula navi, but he won't listen to me. I'm trying to train him here. Yeah? You're up for a mint out grid man. I'm not gonna pull any punches. Brace yourself. Go for it, Lan. Leave it to me. Battle routine set. Execute. Go, Gridman! Or Footman, as we call him in Japanese.
boink. Oh, crap. Double soul. Night soul. We're not in sync yet. Look out next time. Daniel, why am I playing Team Colonel? Uh, because I grew up playing Team Proto Man, and I'm playing the opposite versions of the ones that I grew up playing uh, on streaming because I've never experienced Team Colonel before. So I do like Team Proto Man as well. I got it mainly because I wanted Medi. <laughs> TBH. Pride? How's Nightman? Lan. Thank goodness you're here. Like I said in the mail, a ninja navy came and stole Nightman's thought, speech, movement, and attack programs. Then he scattered them in the drill comp. Now Nightman can't, can't speak, think, move, or attack. It's as if his memory banks have been wiped clean. I see. But he chose not to delete Nightman, which proves Shadow Man's not a nebula agent. Shadow Man? That navy was Shadow Man? Right, he was once a member of Gospel. You know, like you. So why didn't you recognize him? Well, officially, Shadow Man never belonged to Gospel. The head of Gospel had him working as a hired gun. Okay, here's the fucking acknowledgement, at least. Jeez. In fact, only a few Gospel members knew of him. His name is all that I heard. Did he go to you as well? Yeah. Just, what are they plotting? I don't know, but for now, let's find Nightman's program. Yeah, we can figure out this mystery later. Okay, Pride, we're off. Then, you're a godsend. We'll have those programs back, Pride. Let's go, Mega Man. Okay. Into the drill land, Pride is waiting for us. Huh. Jack in! Mega Man! Power up! I got Proto Man for Proto Man, but after double team, I never turned back from Colonel. Okay. Yeah, you know what's funny? I um I, I, I saw a few friends today earlier I was mentioning, and um Alejandro Saab and uh, Howard Wong, they were both talking about how they played uh Specifically the the double team like DS version of Battle Network 5, which uh, yeah, sadly I never got the chance to uh, to try out For as much as I was obsessed with the series back then you'd think that I would have picked it up at some point, but Beep beep chug 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 beep chug beep. Where did everyone go? Are we done digging holes? Don't leave. I can't stand being alone chug chug beep Nobody just brings a gun. <laughs> oh boy. I can't wait to fucking replay these fucking levels again. So excited. Uh... Oh, but at least the conveyor belts are off. That's nice. Hooray. Have I played Mega Man Star Force? Uh, Daniel, I've only ever played 
the very first one. Um, I sadly was kind of lost by the series by the second one, and uh, and then I was told by everyone on planet Earth that Star Force 3 is one of the best. Uh, so, when and if they inevitably make a Star Force collection, I, I, you know, don't doubt that they will at some point. Um, uh, I will probably be playing Star Force 2 and 3 for the first time. Uh, I will, I, I'm, I'm vowing here that, uh, I would love to. This is mind program. Okay. Down here. You know, drill comp is so much easier without the fucking compare things on. No more punching boulders and falling. Hooray! aspects could really be helped with the switch release oh yeah that's the funny thing is like because they're low poly models so seeing them in quote unquote high quality is going to be kind of interesting <laughs> star force 2 is the worst of the series and 3 is the best yeah that's kind of what i i really loved star force 1 when i played it there was a brief moment where i was like oh my god i think i might like this more than battle network which i, I in retrospect i don't think i do but um, I do still really enjoy it, and I, and I watched, um, I watched the first season of the anime, um, the, the entirety of it that the sub did, and, um, uh, the half of it that the dub did, I don't know what the hell happened with that, unfortunately. Yeah, Vincent Tong got to voice Mega Man in the, uh, what's it called? Uh the Mega Man Fully Charged series, which he actually just appeared on the most recent episode of uh, Anime Time Machine, which is that little streaming Instagram thing that they uh, they do with uh, a bunch of the Canadian actors that have worked on NT Warrior and otherwise. Yeah, how they're gonna port a game that was originally built to be a two-screen game to a single screen. That's the thing. Um, there are a lot of 3DS games that I would love to see get ported. Um, I never played Dream Drop Distance. This is the talk program. Um, I only ever played the the PS4 port of it in uh, Kingdom Hearts 2.5. So uh, that's my only experience with that that game is is like that version of it basically. Uh, excuse me. So, like for instance, and uh, talk here, talk here. Sorry. Um, Masahiro Sakurai, excuse me, uh, was uh, talking about this on his YouTube channel, uh, I think a couple months ago, about, oh, it sure would be great if Kid Icarus Uprising got ported to the Switch or something, and, and that would require, like, a an, a an actual port port. Like, it would have to be rebuilt so that it's for uh, a system. Same thing with, uh, in fact, Xena Robinson was, like, telling me, oh, dude, you gotta play The World Ends With You, which I would love to get, um, uh, I would love to get the uh, the Switch uh, port of The World Ends With You and play that as well, because that's another game. Same thing uh, for the original DS that I've, I've always wanted to check out and play at some point. Um, and that'd be the perfect way to experience it is the Switch version, I imagine. Um, so maybe someday, who knows? So bummed with Toonami only aired the pilot of Star Force. I watched Star Force on Toonami Jetstream which was the first, like, online uh, streaming version of Toonami that they had years ago. And they aired episodes of Star Force as well as, um, a move program, as well as uh, the original dub of Prince of Tennis and uh, a couple other shows from way back. Those ZX used both screens. No oh, yeah, that's right! Yeah, ZX was for uh, the DS, wasn't it? Okay, yeah, yeah, that, that, that could probably work then. Okay. Do not play World Ends With You on Switch or mobile. I, I've i been told the mobile port is terrible, but, I mean, I, I, I don't want to go through the pain in the ass of getting fucking, uh, what's it called, uh, you know, DS, like, 
capture software and nor do I want to emulate it. I would rather just buy it on the Switch and just play it that way. Um, I don't doubt that the DS version is superior, um, but even then I would just rather play it on Switch just because it's easier, you know? So maybe someday, we'll see. Switch port is a slightly better mobile port. Okay. Well, either way. That's that's likely the, the version that I'll be getting if I if I do get the chance to play it at all. It's with, you know, time permitting and everything. Play touchscreen mode. The carpal tunnel. Yeah, my fucking arms don't need that, frankly. Ugh. No, thank you. I heard the anime, uh, the, uh, World Ends With You anime was pretty good. Attack program. There we go. Pride, we found all four programs. Hurry and reinstall them into Nightman. Indeed. Nightman, reboot. Nightman. Nightman! Lady Pride, I am terribly sorry. I have failed to perform my duty. You don't have to apologize. But you should thank Lan and Mega Man. They're the ones who found your stolen programs. Lan, Mega Man, you have done a great service to me. I will be sure to repay your kindness. <laughs> Don't mention it. We could do for a team. We could do for a teammate. Right, Mega Man? Yep. But shoot, that Navi must be something else to be able to slip past Nightman's tough defenses. It was all over before I knew what was happening. His incredible speed and agility. He's no ordinary Navi. Well, thank you for such generosity. He's so tall. Your team has power and technique, but is short of speed. You're no match for Nebula at this point. If there's any hope at all, it's in your leader. You went to Barrel too? A very capable leader indeed. But even the best leader is powerless without a good team. What are you trying to pull, spying on us every chance you get? You shall know soon enough. If you have what it takes, that is. Wait! How old is Pride? Am I legally allowed to think she's cute? I'm pretty sure she's an adult. Don't quote me on that. I, I don't know for sure. He sure knows how to beat a quick retreat. Man, just assume that probably most of these characters are young, to be fucking honest, because it's anime. Lan, we better report this to Beryl. You're right. Beryl might know something about them. See you, Pride. We're gonna get going. Okay, be careful. I have a feeling we haven't seen the last of him. Right. Chris and the Bobobo Crew Gamers. Chris, how's your day going? My day is going good, but uh, just so you know, uh, my name is spelt the same way yours is, with C-H-R-I-S. Lamau. Go to Mission Control. Uh, where the fuck is mission control? Oh wait, is that- is it at Scylla? It's probably in that room that we went to before. But, but, but. Hello everybody, this is Electopia Scylla. Before you go inside, I'd like you to give you some background. Mr. Quiz, who called Mr. Quiz? Take a chance, try your luck. Get ready, set, it's quiz time! You know who I am? I'm the famous Mr. Quiz. I'm mad about quizzes. This is a once-in-a-lifetime chance for you. A fabulous prize awaits you. A fabulous prize awaits you. You can answer my questions. Are you ready? Then let the quiz battle begin. Ready, set, go! First and easy one. Question one. What was drawn from the car on the curve? Sorry, wrong answer. <laughs> I guess you're not in my league yet. What? 
Excuse me. That's correct. Speed was dropped off? The fuck does that mean? That's correct. Now for question two. Another easy one. It grinds down hills yet remains unseen. That's correct. Now a harder one. Question three. How many steel drums are outside the old mine on Oran Isle? That's correct. No more playing around. Question four. What is the combined attack of cannon plus mini bomb plus wide sword? That would be, let's see, 40 plus 50 is 90 plus wide sword is 80. So that would be 80 plus uh, 90 plus 80. That's uh, 170. That's correct. You're pretty good. Now for the final question. Uh, question five. This sport is a bit scary because people hit, throw, and steal. Hit, throw, and steal. Oh man, I never thought you'd make it this far, but a promise is a promise. Here you go. Dark Thunder. I'm a good sport, but I don't lose often. Is that a dark ship? Oh, it sure is. Ha ha ha. No thank you, Lamau. She was originally going to be Princess Tron with the... Yes, that's true. Yeah, she was almost uh, Battle Network Tron Bond at some point. I can make your battles a cinch. No, I don't want your fucking creepy ass dark chips. Go away. Man, I am not making enough fucking baseball. Japan really loves baseball. They sure do. Some research at Lab concerns national security. We're checking to make sure nobody suspicious gets in. Here, Dad, a clean shirt. Thanks, you're a great help. I brought some extra socks, too. Now you're all set, at least for a while. Yeah, where did that kid get a dark chip? Uh, Regal just drove by and like, Hey, little boy. <laughs> Scilab main system is controlled by... Oops, you already know this. The nebula activity in Scilab area is somehow paced. I wonder if they're up to something. Guess I should go home and get a change of clothes. I haven't been home for two weeks now. Yes, dark chips do permanently sap your health uh, after the fourth game, for sure. Barrel! Did a ninja navi come here? You mean Shadow Man? Yes, he did. He has quite the nerve. I take it he paid you a visit as well, then. Wow, he got through the security of this place? Do you know who they are? His name is Dusk. He travels the world, leading navvies for a fee. He's an assassin. His navvy, Shadow Man, is one of the vastest, most agile navvies in the world. An assassin? What reason would he have to bother us? Only he would know the answer to that. This is all that we know at this time. Without more data, we'll just have to stay alert. Rest assured. This is Observatory Room 7. Beryl, do you read? Nebula's on the move. Scilab area net corruption will be upon Oron area. Understood. Len, head for the net. Nebula's contaminating the net. The Oron area net is likely taking a big hit. We'll have trouble jacking in from Oron Isle. Take the route from ACDC area. Roger! Do not underestimate your foe. Scilab logo looks like the subway logo. You know, a little bit. I do see that. How the fuck is an hour already passed? Oh my god. Just looked over how long we're going for. Where's the subship guy? Guy's profile image is just out of place to me. Everyone's normal looking or anime like. He's extreme comic Giga Chad face. Jack in! Mega Man! Power up! Yeah, Barrel's pretty, like, super handsome.
Somebody was asking earlier what made me want to uh, make Tome into a video game. I had always wanted to make Tome into a video game since the beginning. Um, I uh, this is a you know a common story that people know already, but. Um, yeah, I had wanted to get into making games, and I learned quickly that I hated programming, so I got into making animations and cartoons and filmmaking instead. Um, did that, and, uh, then after two different incarnations of Tome as an animated show, um, it amassed enough of a fan base that, uh, I was then able to kickstart doing it as a video game, and the fans by that point were wanting it to be a game in the first place, so I created a, 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 a sort of a demand for the product that I wanted to make in the first place uh, by doing a show of it, was uh, more or less how it went, so. I knew you'd come, Mega Man. Shadow Man! I suppose you heard Nebula was on the move and came as quick as you could, but you're late. What? In order to fight Nebula, you must have information. You need to be one step ahead of them. Dusk! What are you after? Hmm. I'll tell you if you can catch Shadow Man. Shadow Man! Yes, Master. Catch me if you can. Land time for a chase! Yeah, I've had enough of their games. Yahoo! Here we go, your vacuum prod is now empty. Just a reminder, white clouds are one, gray are three, and thunder ones are five. Gold clouds take up one unit and hide other clouds or viruses, don't forget. which is my favorite Mega Man. Of those three, Mega Man EXE is my favorite, um, but uh, Legends Mega Man, uh, Rock Volnut, is my favorite version of Mega Man himself, like overall. Oh boy. At which point of brainstorming did I decide to integrate Battle Network elements into TTA? Well, funnily enough, um, when I first wanted it to be uh, a video game, like I'm talking way back before I was even doing the TTA episodes, um, my intention was that I wanted it to be a Battle Network style game. I wanted to basically give it uh, a battle system that was exactly like this. It was just going to be a ripoff, basically. Um, and uh, so when I was doing the show, it was just kind of a natural progression that, like, okay, well, that's going to be how I'm going to animate the battles because that's what's inspiring the thing in the first place. And uh, and then it was funny. I think I even did consider the idea of having a battle system in... Um... No, actually, you know what? No, no, no. Weirdly enough... I, I didn't really uh, majorly consider the idea of doing uh, a uh, a battle system that was based on Battle Network um, for the Tome RPG because I I just wanted to do it as a turn-based game. I think I, I was more so on the gameplay end of things. I was more just wanting to make like a, a big Mario RPG kind of tribute experience. Um, so, I, I don't even think for a while it even crossed my mind, the idea of do It's funny, after playing these now, like, it would be interesting to do a Battle Network-style tone game, like, with, with, a, with a system like this. But the thing is, now we have, like, other indie games that, um, you know, have battle systems like that, like One Step from Eden, which, you know, kind of took it to the next level. So, there's not really a whole lot of reason for me to do a game like that at this point. Don't level too much, you might become like Saitama, aka One Punch Man. Well, thankfully there's no EXP, so all I'm doing is... I'm not gaining experience points and leveling up, I'm just getting battle chips and money that I need for progression. Faster than I expected. 
Now this way, if you can keep up, that is. Wait! Land, let's keep after Shadow Man. You bet. Tome crossover game with the Tome game. Kerberfer fighting Kerberfer. Just screaming at each other. Yeah, just all the different versions of Kerb. Mega Man EXC is the only Mega Man incarnation that fights with his buster is on his right arm and the others all have it on their left. I mean, I think that also, to be fair, because of the sprites, um, it's never really 100% consistent what side, um, what, what arm an individual Mega Man uses the buster for, because it, you know, the, the sprites reverse, you know, as you change back and forth. for Daki Makura when? Uh, I think not. How did a kid like Sean afford Dusk's Assassin's Price? Well, he did have dead parents, so he might have inherited a shit ton of money for all we know. Or stole it. I don't know. Go up the other way. He's more likely ambidextrous. I don't know about that because he is generally always facing the same direction. So, what do I think of the Mario Brothers movie? I did a review of the Mario Brothers movie that you can check out if you're curious. Shadow Man and Dusk could cross views in the anime. Yes, they could, in fact. Double Soul! Night Soul! Why would you put it in the center? my favorite anime crossover is. Um, I can't think of too many that have happened. I mean, I did really love watching that little uh, Dragon Ball One Piece Toriko crossover. That was fun to see.
People love Ninja Fusions. Look at Ash Greninja. Yeah, but Ash Greninja is not a fusion, though. It's a power up, technically. Don't forget. Oh, God. Mega Man looks like a character of LBX. What's LBX? Pokemon Reburst? Is that a, is that a fan-made thing? Oh, in the final Smash, they oh you can see like what their like specific uh, fucking thing is. Okay, that's interesting. Set. Boink. Did we did we get uh, a vacuum program like given to us in a cutscene? Did I just like not notice that? I was just like, how do we get the ability to do this? <laughs> it's an official magazine Pokemon manga, one made in a more shonen style. Interesting. Uh, from Shonen Sunday. I've never heard of that before. Interesting. Wow, and they actually had fusions in there. It's crazy. Shirt, I hope no one minds. Oh, Mr. Prod gave it to me. Was it in an earlier part? I just like really didn't notice. Oh, you pirated this game, Xander? Oh, I can't lecture you too hard because I uh, I did emulate this in Japanese for a brief bit before I played it. Officially, but I did buy it later on. I bought the Proto Man version. Is this Mega Man the strongest? I don't know. If I get to guess who the strongest Mega Man is, it's probably X. I don't know. The story was never finished due to poor audience reception. Oh, that's a shame. I'd almost given up on you. Now let's head for Scilab area. Wait, Shadow Man! Why wait when I can run? Shoot, he slips away like a snake. He's as fast as a cheetah. No time to stand at all. We've got to go after him. Oh, right. According to Death Battle, Mega Man EXE is the strongest? Oh. Now, why is that, out of curiosity? Because Mega Man EXE is kind of a different beast in and of himself. Ha ha ha, that's the next game. Uh, excuse me. Because he's a computer program and not a robot. Star Force right behind EXE. Oh, interesting. Got Team Colonel originally with an Xmas gift card money from your late aunt, and then yesterday you bought a GBA cart 
from your former hole in the wall retro game shop of uh okay cool nice yeah my my uh oh, you bastard um my uh I think that my Battle Network 5 copy um, is uh, is gone. I think that that, because I have all of my, my GBA cards of uh, the original games, I think that Battle Network 5 is the one that I just like can't fucking find anymore. It's the most weapons in Battleship. See, okay, that's interesting, that, that point of, that made by Death Battle, but the thing is, again, because he's a computer program, uh, it's a little bit of a different... Setup, I guess? I don't know. I don't know. It's interesting, though. Boink. Shadow Man uses JoJo's secret technique to run away. <laughs> Good. Legends Mega Man is probably the weakest due to the fact that he's not as versatile as the other, uh, versatile as the other Mega Man. You know what? However, that said... Oh, nice. Um... If I had to guess, when uh, when Volnut was in his prime, when he was Mega Man Trigger, I bet he was the strongest Mega Man at that point. Because I have to imagine that Purifier units were fucking crazy powerful. Reset it! Oh! Neat! Problem with Death Battle is they cherry pick a lot of stuff. No, I, I feel like Death Battle usually does a lot of uh, research. I always remember Sean Schemmel made this like counter argument about how like the Goku versus Superman video where he's like, yeah, but Goku would also just let Superman go near a red sun and become like the most powerful he could possibly be and then fight him. Which is like, yeah, that's that's very highly possible. Yeah, I know X is definitely stronger than the original Mega Man for sure. A yellow sun? Oh, I thought it was a red sun. My bad. How do you feel if you voiced a character in Death Battle? I have voiced characters in Death Battle. Um, I played uh, Tommy the Green Ranger. Rest in peace, the uh, the late great um, good old Mr. Uh, Jason David Frank that I was doing an impression of. Wait, how do I get over there? Cossex Lab Battle Network Five. Um, which area am I in right now? Oh, this is our end two. Okay, our end two. Go back there. Oh, okay. Oops. Yeah, and then um I think I voiced I voiced Mewtwo in in a death battle once. I remember that. Many, many years ago. And funnily enough, uh, so I met uh, Marissa Lenti 
when we did the the it was the White Ranger versus uh, Zex Marquis, um, like the Tiger Zord versus whatever his Gundam is. I don't remember. Um, we did that one, and Marissa was in that with me as a character. Uh, and then, um, uh, Marissa cast me, uh, they later went on to become the casting person for Rooster Teeth for a while, um, and, uh, they cast me as Mewtwo in the Mewtwo vs. Shadow, yeah, Mewtwo vs. Shadow, which Takahata, fellow fantastic, uh, VTuber, um, not, not to say that I'm fantastic, obviously, um, yeah, he, uh, he played Shadow in that. So, that was fun. That was a long time ago. Many, many years ago now. I voiced the White Ranger. The White Ranger version of Tommy. I, I know that there was another episode... Um... There was another episode of Death Battle they did where it was like the Voltron Quartet versus the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, and I don't remember if they had Tommy in that, and maybe he might have been played by somebody else. I don't remember, because there have been a couple characters that they have cast uh, different people for uh, over there. Because like, I think Shadow was in another episode, and he wasn't played by Taka. He was played by somebody else. Um... Uh, the only Rooster Teeth project I was ever part of was Death Battle. I never got to, uh... I don't think I ever auditioned for, like, Ruby at any point. If I did, I don't remember. But I don't think so. What do I think of Demon Slayer? I've never seen it. I'll probably watch it at some point, because I know it's a great show. But I have not seen it before. Welcome, Twilight Man. Are you in this game, Twilight Man? The area is all rounder in big trouble. What are we going to do? That's and why is the only is is it only Oron Area Three that's been let off? Perhaps they thought it's a wasteland and overlooked it. That might just have saved us. Just thinking about what's going on around is scary. Goku vs. Superman is the worst death battle in the entire series because it caused so much internet drama. Well, that's not the fault of the episode. That's the fault of just people being stupid assholes because of it. That's like, Full Metal Alchemist, I remember when, when Full Metal Alchemist was like the biggest fucking anime on the planet, and uh, the fandom of that show made like the Dragon Ball fandom, and this is, this is, by the way, I'm talking like, you know, back in the fucking, uh, the mid-2000s, the FMA fandom back then made the Dragon Ball fandom look like the sweetest people in the fucking universe. What was one character that hurt my voice to play? Oh, Jesus. Um, one of the earliest video games I worked on was a visual novel called Resonance. It was a point-and-click adventure by um, uh, Wajidai Games. And I recorded that uh, with David Gilbert at like his apartment. <laughs> it was a long time ago. And um, I voiced a character named uh, Oswald Factabout. And he was kind of a play on uh, the uh, the Lawn John Baldry Robotnik from the uh, Adventures of Sonic the Hedgehog cartoon. Um, and he wanted me to make him a lot a lot throatier. So originally I, I auditioned for him and got him and played him like this, and then I had a lot more gravel to him, and he had tons of dialogue in that game. That was fun though, really cool project. I worked on a couple different uh, point and click games with uh, with David many years ago, way way back. Whoop. 
was like working on Gundam projects. Big fan of uh, franchise your re rendition of Garma was great. Oh well, thank you very much. Um, I uh, I loved getting to work on those series. Um, I was uh... oh good. Um, I was uh, I was a Gundam fan growing up. I I watched uh, all of Gundam Seed and Gundam Seed Destiny and G Gundam. And uh, little tiny bits of some other Gundam series here and there. Um, and yeah, I've gotten to work on three different Gundam series by this point. I've worked on uh, uh, the redub that we did of Gundam Seed, uh, Gundam The Origin uh, as Garma, and uh, Gundam Iron-Blooded Orphans as well. And uh, yeah, uh, Garma, that's one of my proudest performances that I've ever gotten to do uh, in uh, the Gundam Origin OVA series. I loved that series so much. Great little uh, bunch of movies. Thanks for joining, Chris. Favorite archetype device? Um, you know what? I like flawed heroes. Yeah, flawed heroes are uh, are very fascinating to me. Oh, they did Ben 10 versus Green Lantern. Oh, interesting. <laughs> Nobody gonna bring up the fact that Shadow Man and Dusk are probably wanted terrorists for their actions in Yumland and attempt the destruction of the mother computer in Battle Network 2. No, whatever. Same with Princess Bride. <laughs> totally redeemed themselves. You know, off screen, obviously, but... <laughs> Nobody brings up how Match is a terrorist either in, in, in 4 or 6, to be honest. You fucker. How dare you. Stole my prize. And all I got was this lousy tank cannon. Whoop. How long are you going to avoid facing us? I'm not avoiding anything. I could take you on right now if I... Shadow Man, there's no rush. Besides, I'm enjoying this. Yes, Master. Why, you? Mega Man, we're gonna nab Shadow Man once and for all. Roger. But first, let's fuck around some more. Funniest thing about flawless heroes is that being flawless can be seen as a flaw by others. That's true. That was kind of the whole point of um, the knight character from uh, Live Alive, actually, which I thought was very interesting. Thank you. Bride did spend time in prison. Yeah, that is true. I, I I believe, right? Did they spend time in prison after Battle Network 2? I think. I think. And apparently may have had a crush on land. Only in the anime. <laughs> Am I excited for Nimona? Nimona? What is that like? Akuma Nimona or or Nemona like from Pokemon? Thank you. Nice. Much. Whoop. 
Pride's a teen then? Uh, probably. Yeah, I really don't know for sure. But like I said, I just kind of assume that everybody in this, in this series is like a younger character. Oh, Nemo! Right. Yes, Nimona, the 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 animated movie. Yes. Uh, yes, I saw the trailer for that. I would love to check that movie out. Looks very cool. Oh shit! Okay. Oh, it's the last Blue Sky film. Oh, yeah, that's right. Whoop. Let me try this again. Is that so? My associate said, I'll have to do my best then. Okay, Yahoo! Whew, that's the best I can do. We'll have to leave it up to him. Look for my pal hiding behind the gold clouds before the thunder ones. I'm sure he can help you out. Uh, the gold clouds before the thunder clouds. Whoop. I've not seen the new season of Clone High yet. Nope, can't do that. Oh, fuck me. Damn it. Fucking this up. meeting somebody like a producer or a production some uh, some kind of person from blue sky years ago when I was in uh, I was in school um... oh oh this should be it there we go thank you I'm still in training that's why I can only empty your clouds once that's better than nothing right okay here I go Yahoo that's all my power I have another associate in this area. He can get rid of any clouds. Good luck finding him. Uh, Stoner understand I have already, um, I have already streamed a playthrough of Mario RPG, uh, a number of years ago. Thank you. Um, and, uh, I did that back when we were finishing up the Kickstarter for the Tone game. I would love to play it again. Uh, however, the next time I play Mario RPG on stream, uh, I would specifically, uh, like to stream... Uh, playing it with a whole cast of voice actors, and, uh, and, like, doing voices and stuff for the characters and all that. Um. So, maybe someday. I really wanted to do that originally this month. Um, but I couldn't get the people that I wanted because they were all busy with other stuff. And, of course, Battle Network Collection came out and Zelda came out and all that stuff, so... 
didn't didn't quite line up anyway. It's fine. But someday, someday. Damn it. Uh, I don't know what World's Divide is, uh, Ben and Bob. Is that some kind of animation project? I do have ideas on who I would get for the voices, but I won't say who they are. Shit. Role playing a dog. Okay. Oh yeah, the Snake Eater remake. Yeah, I heard about that. That's cool. Is that the first like full-on remake that they've done of a of a Metal Gear game since like uh, uh, Twin Snakes? Because I I can't think of another one that they've done before that's like that extensive. I didn't need to do that, did I? Would it be a live dub as you're playing or an edited video? So, when I first thought of getting a full cast for it, um, originally I did think about uh, doing it as just like a, like a Let's Play fan dub or whatever, but um, I also feel that that's a little bit on the unprofessional side to just straight up do that. So, I would rather do it as a live stream and have it be like some kind of charity event or something, you know what I mean? Um, cause then also that kind of justifies the reason to do it in, uh, for people a little bit more, personally, so. Alright, where the fuck? Oh, I'm going to the next area, I believe, right? Right across from that program? Oh, okay. Is he up this way? That I... Oh, wait. No, not here. Unprofessional isn't bad. Though. Well, when you're working professionally in voiceover, you know, it matters somewhat. Like, it has to, you know, you can't just willy-nilly be doing fan projects left and right, you know? Not for any kind of specific reason. Up at the top of the map. Oh, okay, I was going the right way then, okay. Want that gold cloud. I want that gold cloud though. Come far. No more running away for you, Master. What shall I do with them? Enough tag. Go ahead and grant them their wish. At once. Mega Man is. Mega Man! He's coming! Prepare yourself! Okay. I'm God. Ready, Mega Man? Battle routine set. Execute! Rematch of the century. Three games later. Double Soul! Night Soul! Boink! 
boink. Alright. Ow. Can I finish him? Ow. Ooh. Anti-damage. Goodbye. What kind of voice was the dub going for with the Shadow Man in the anime? He kind of sounded like it was like a Chinese accent a little bit, and I didn't want to go for that. I didn't even realize that's what it was until like my second or third watch through of the show. I just remember him being like kind of in the back of the throat like this. And I, I'm not doing the accent for obvious reasons, so. Had enough yet? Yes, it was quite enough, I think. Right, Master? What are you talking about? I think they made the grade. Yes, Master. The grade? What grade? We shall lend our services to you. Huh? We're willing to lend you our power. You can't be serious. You're dead serious. I came all the way from my village to fight Nebula at Beryl's request. But ninja are Japanese. Yeah, exactly. That's why it didn't make any sense to me. <laughs> we didn't want to withhold information from you, but Dusk insisted that he be allowed to test you. Colonel! Well, Shadow Man, Dusk, did they meet your expectations? Well, no complaints. Although they still need training, there is potential. Man, can this all be for real? Shall we go ahead and do our first job? First job? I'll open the route to the next area to be, to be liberated. It's that path that you couldn't get to. You were watching? <laughs> it really set you flying. I assure you the same won't happen to me. <laughs> Look at the little silly run cycles. Land, let's go too. Yeah. And I would remember when Searchman deleted Shadow Man by sniping off his arms. Yeah, I had to look up the Japanese version of that scene. Because it had been so fucking long and I was like, good lord, man, yeah. Because that was very, very heavily censored in the, the TV uh, dub version. I did see the Tenacious D video games uh, music video. Yes, it was fantastic. Oh, I should have healed. Yeah, whatever. Um, yeah, it was awesome. Um, I saw, uh, Chris O'Neill actually very, uh, shortly after he released it, so. Boink. There we go. Oh. Shadow Man, can you handle it? Simple. I only need to hit a key point. I need to figure out Colonel's accent better. Here goes. Weight of a feather, speed of a hair. Make me light as air. Ah! Sorry, I need to take a swip of water. Uh, excuse me. Yeah, meanwhile, Gyromat is just like, I will fly over them. It's a dark ship. But no match for the Muramasa. Ha! It is done. Spy your wife for now. Wait for me! The crew's all here. Now let's go. Believe it or not, I'm walking on clouds. Land, let's go. Yeah. All right, liberation mission time. Whoop. That's not what I meant to hit. Save. Lent, do you want to start the liberation mission? Okay, Land, let's go. This area is totally guarded. Check it out. 
What's that? A barrier panel. Barrier? We can't walk over it? That's right. We can't live right it either. And if we go around it, there will be too many dark panels to hit. We've got to find the key to unlock the barrier. I guess it's my turn then. Huh? I don't think it'll be easy to find the key. It'll be hidden deep inside. We may have to cross over the dark panels. Good call. The key should be hidden in a remote panel. Good luck. Leave it to me. I'll sneak over him like a ninja. Complete the liberation within nine phases. Good luck. Alright. Let's take a look at what we got to work with here. Okay. I'm assuming perhaps the key is there. So he can flow through this whole little section there. We gotta get past that hole first. Okay. Let's do it! Liberate panels! Royal Wrecking Ball! Shit! Alright, I liberated it! Long sword! Yeah, I liberated it! Hmm. Let's do it. Liberate panels. Oh, you are just destroyed. Or liberated it. A bonus pack. Ah, nice. Oh, it's the end of the phase, of course. Let's begin. Liberate panels. Liberation complete. 
hurry back. <laughs> I'll welcome you with thunder clouds. Sword. Oh wait, did I waste that? Oh man. Fuck, that was stupid of me. Yeah, I liberated it and wasted order points like a fucking moron! Let's do it. Liberate panels. Dead. Nice. Yeah, one turn liberation. I didn't need to do that. Great. <laughs> I'm fucking stupid. Let's begin. Liberate panels. Oh boy. Easy. Let's do it! Liberate panels! I liberated it! Let's do it! Liberate panels! One turn liberation!
Let's begin. Liberate panels. That was really stupid of me. My mistake, I can't move. Shadowman has been frozen. Screen divide. What are you doing? Later, Cutlilish. Yeah, I'll liberate it. I found a hawk. Nice. Needed that. Let's do it. Liberate panels. Great job! One turn liberation! Uh oh. Dang. Night man's invincible. Ugh. Shadow man became paralyzed. Hopefully he will recover next fucking phase. Let's do it! Liberate panels! Idiot. Ugh. Great. Waste of my fucking turn. <sighs> Krabby Patty time. Is that me? Am I the Krabby Patty? <laughs> Andrew. Going much better now. Hooray! I liberated it! Dead. Let's do it. Liberate panels. Thank <laughs> you. 
point. I'm done. Yeah, I liberated it. Hiya! Shadow Manor's recovered. Let's do it! Liberate panels! Nice. Hell yeah. All right, I liberated it. Let's begin. Liberate panels. To know that that's what that does. Good work, liberation complete. Liberate panels! Liberated. Found barrier K2. Unlock barrier panel 2. Cool. Good job, Colonel. Let's do it. Liberate panels. I liberated it. Uh-oh. Ouch.
Let's begin. Liberate panels. I summon thee. Gungal Soul! One turn liberation. You see that? One turn liberation. I found order points. Very good, need that. Let's do it. Liberate panels. Oops. Boink. I liberated it! Let's do it. Liberate panels. Yes, the other characters share Mega Man ships. Yes. Fucker! Oh my god. Dead. Yeah, I'll liberate it. No more dark holes. Nothing will save the dark lords now. Let's do it. Liberate panels! Yes, they all get the same chips that I have, which is nice. Yeah, I liberated it. More order points. Hell yeah. You screen divide? Okay, Colonel, we're using order points. Let's do it. Screen divide! Oh, nice! Yeah, one turn liberation. Oh, right, I could just do this. For fuck's sake. Hmm. You know what? Um. Okay, seven. Ah. Yeah, I'll keep him back here. Get some of that extra stuff in here. Ah. 
set of form. I could use some help. Roll blast! Liberation complete. All right. I'll have the first dance. Feel the wrath of my divine punishment. Cloud Man, give it up! He won't, of course. His combat ability is incredibly high. Be careful, Mega Man. Battle routine set. Execute! All righty. Out. Gundel Soul! Oh. All right, I have that on. Shit, that was too late. Ugh. Oh, oh, it works. Nice, perfect. Roll blast. Oh, that. Mm, I didn't mean to do that. Shit, 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 shit. Damn. Don't you wish to defeat the likes of me? Let's do it! Liberate panels! Not bad. You're too weak to defeat the likes of me. Oh boy, he's gonna recover. Okay, not that bad. I'll fog you up. I'll fog you up. Dark Cloud. Nice, nice block. Thanks, buddy. <clears throat> Nightman became paralyzed. A bonus panel. I found order points. Target confirmed. Sneak attack. Okay, Shadow Man, we're using order points. Yes, sir. Ooh, I like that. Very much so. All right, Colonel, you're up. Let's do it. Liberate panels. Oh god, oh god. Oh. Shit, no! Damn it! Alright, I'll get him with, uh, with Mega Man. You're too weak to defeat the likes of me. 
Up to you, Mega Man. Good to go! Done, Air Hockey! Oh, defeated it cannot be! But I don't think you'll be making it back alive! <laughs> Great job! One turn liberation! Target, nine phases. Actual, eight phases. Good job. Here's a special reward from the officials. Cloudbound C. Team did an excellent job. The recapturing of Solab area marks much progress towards our goal. The addition of our newest member, Shadow Man, has greatly strengthened the team. Confident you can handle future missions. Shadow Man, my soul resonates with your shadowy spirit of illusion. All right, with a team like this, then it'll be freed in no time. Man, it's not as easy as you think. I'm just getting excited, Mega Man. Okay, Land, may our next mission be even more successful. Yep. What? Mega Man, step aside. What? Yikes! The dark cloud is getting close to me. No, it's engulfed him. Hmm, he immobilized. A dark cloud. Mega Man! How could this happen? Mega Man! Mega Man! Bring him this way, now! It's all set, call the dock! Surprise, surprise! I think we caught somebody you may know. Who? Mega Man! Mega Man! Come on, come on, wake up, wake up! Mega Man! Scream all you want, he can't hear you! A sleep program has knocked him out cold. You couldn't wake him with a sledgehammer. What are you gonna do with Mega Man? Oh, we're just gonna enslave him, that's all! Now sit back and watch how we make some new friends. <laughs> I take it today's guinea pig is this kid. Regal tells me he's a Navi of the highest caliber and was built based on human DNA data. What a pity that we'll be tainting such perfection. <laughs> Doc, this time it'll work, I'm sure of it. Oh, either way, let the operation begin. Use this dark chip. And implant the dark power into this boy. Begin! That was one of the most powerful sleep programs, but the intense pain has cracked it. The agony is beyond comprehension, I'm sure. The dark power of the dark chip implanted in him is seeping at every pore in his body. Any other Navi and he would have self-deleted by now. I get goosebumps just thinking about it. <laughs> Doctor, how is our Mega Man coming along? Ah, Master Regal. Very well indeed. He's all that you hoped for, Regal. His soul will soon be soaked with dark power. Yes, I see. Once the dark power stabilizes, boot him up. As you say. Oh, dark power, seep deeper, cling stronger! Oh, land! Savor the pain, feel the anguish, and once it finally subsides, you shall be reborn as the dark warrior, Dark Mega Man! <laughs> Mega Man... Mega Man... <sighs> Nightmare, Mega Man. The phone. I better answer it. 
Mega Man usually tells me, hey, it's your phone! Oops. Oh, I wonder who it was. There's a message on the answering sheet. Replaying message. It's me. Glenn, I know you must be feeling down. You should come out of the C2C. Meet me at the harbor behind Scilab. See you soon. No further messages. Time to head out, I guess. Port in your Scilab. I wonder what Barrel's up to. Mega Man isn't in his PT. Ah, the brainwashed hero arc begins. Why the long face, Land? Has something happened? Well, you didn't tell your mom? You want to know the secrets of success? Always walk proud no matter how dim prospects appear. That way you won't miss a single opportunity. What's wrong, Lan? You look upset. What happened to the old you, Lan? there every day. I wonder who he is. He has a certain aura about him. <laughs> oh, what am I doing here? I'm checking the chips imported by my company. Gotta check every one of this container by myself. It's a bit much, don't you think? I came to fish, but I forgot the most important thing. My rod, what was I thinking? This lighthouse protects ships day and night. It's also very tiny, apparently. <laughs> Who sent for the quiz master? Take a chance, try your luck. Get ready, set, it's quiz time. I'm known far and wide, wide and far. They call me the quiz master. Is your life boring, unsatisfying? Well, I have the answer. Come take my quiz. I'll brighten up your dull life with my witty quiz. Ten questions in all, my visionary new world awaits. Check out my plan for a better world. Sure. The curtain to the new world opens. Question one. In boxing, attacks like a champy EX are called what? A one-two punch. That's correct. Next question. The total attack of a champy EX's right and left punches is... In total... 60. That's correct. Next question. What is the opposite of sweet? Ooh, that's... That's debatable. Would it be... I guess it'd be bitter. What? Oh, it's probably spicy then. Alright. One, two, punch. 60. Spicy? Oh, spicy. Okay, alright. That's correct. Next question. The vending machine outside Scilab only sells what? Energy drinks. That's correct. Next question. La 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 la. How many times did I just say la? Four. That's correct. Next question. In which area do Handi appear? Handi? Oh, oh, uh, Scilab 2. That's correct. Next question. La la la, la la la, la la la. That would be eight laws. Just kidding. What question is this? Oh. Question seven. That's correct. Next question. You could jack into which sculpture outside of Scilab? The right one. That's correct. Next question. What does the sculpture portray? A battleship. Correct again. Now for the final question. Number ten. Influenza is caused by what? Oh, shit. Ooh. Okay, chat. Is influenza caused by a virus, bacterium, or a germ? I believe it's a virus, right? Because you need a shot for it, isn't that right? I believe it's a virus, but if I'm wrong about that, let me know. Just so I don't have to do all the questions again. I do like that they have just like real world questions like mixed in here. Virus, virus, how fitting. Amazing, I don't know what to say. Thanks to you, I've got a glimpse of the new world. Take this as a token of my appreciation. Ooh, dark, God, I don't wanna use that! Use it to carve out a new future, I won't. 
Dark chips are not in my future, lady! God, I should have known that she's gonna give me a dark chip. Um, excuse me? Hello? I'm Mr. Hide and Seek. I need a theme song. Mr. Hide and Seek's mission is to spark a hide and seek craze everywhere. This is the first step forward. Hey, how about a hide and seek battle? Cool prize awaits if you, if you beat me. You're not gonna check it out, are ya? Let's do it. Okay, here are the rules. They're simple. Find me and you win. I'll be somewhere in Cyber World. If you find me, you gotta shout, Gotcha! Remember that? The Navi op operator must shout, Gotcha! You can't cheat by having your Navi do all the work. There are five rounds. Find me five times and you win a cool prize. Let's get to it. Round one. I'll be in one of the ACDC areas. Try to find me. Alrighty. I'll remember that. I wanted to shout out to the sea at the top of my voice. But it's just not the same at a port like this. I guess I can't board without permission. Oh, okay, we're about to go to the ship cop soon. Why is the sea salty? I have no idea. Oh. Hey, check this out. It's a rare colored asteroid ba battle ship. Pretty cool, huh? My friend says it looks fishy, but I don't think so. She's just jealous. I mean, like, who else around here has one of these? I see that. Look, you, like, really want it, don't you? Come on, I know you want it. Hmm. I'll give it to you for a price. I mean, like, it's really rare. Let me see. Okay. Uh, no. It's your loss. Too bad. You're missing out on this rare find. Fuck off, lady. Yeah, why do the quiz givers have dark chips? For fuck's sake. Exhausted land. No surprise that Mega Man kidnapped. Do you ever gaze at the sea? It's vast. Makes our biggest problem seems pretty small. Peril. Len. Won't you join us on our next mission? I have a navy ready to replace Mega Man. You want me to just jump up and start using another navy? First your father, and now Mega Man. I know this is a trying time for you, but your, but your abilities are vital to our cause. I... I can't! I can't bear to operate anyone other than Mega Man! Come to your senses! Barrel totally just smacked the shit out of the land. What? This is no time to be soft. As we speak, Nebula's actions are causing people to suffer. Some of them have even, Some of them have it even worse than you. Without your help, they'll continue to suffer. I'll be in the Psy Lab mission control. You're free to leave the team. If you change your mind, come to the mission control and I'll give you your new Navi. Think it over, kid. Hi, Ace Gamer 6523 Welcome. If Mega Man were only here, he'd tell me what I should do. Lan... You've got to be strong, strong, strong. Smacks him into the ocean. <laughs> you can do it, do it, do it. Mega Man. I don't know what kind of navy barrel found for me, but I'll use it to save you, Mega Man. Mega Man Battle Network. Mega Man is missing. Do I like barbecue and buffalo wings with ranch on them? I do. I go to Buffalo Wild Wings once in a blue moon. It's good shit. I like ranch and barbecue sauce usually. What is he getting so giddy about? How immature. You're such a little kid, Ash. So that's the cruise ship everybody's talking about. It's humongous. Incredible. Uh, is this the game that gives you Medi or Toad Man? Uh, Malthus Arc, this is the one that has Toad Man. Oh, I haven't seen this room yet. Hey, stop that. This area's off limits. Not to me, bitch! Barrel, I'll do it. I'm gonna get Mega Man back myself. <laughs> so you've realized what you need to do then? Yeah. Well, you've made the right choice. Lad, lend me your PET. I'll give you the new Navi. Land gives up his PET. Hold on a moment. Begin Navi program installation. <laughs> installation done. Land, that Navi's very special to me. Once you get Mega Man back, be sure and return him to me. <laughs> Len gets his P.E.T. back. Wait, could this be? Uh, Peril? Mm -hmm. Wow. This really is 
is a special Navi to you. I hope you can get along, Colonel. We'll have to work hard to make up for Mega Man's absence. Beryl, thanks for believing in me. <laughs> now let me explain the next mission. Okay. Next area. The next area we're liberating is End Area 2. End Area is on the west side of Den City. It's the net for the town of End City. You can get to End Area from Oran Area 2. Begin by paying a visit to check on things. Roger! Best of luck. Alright. Uh, Trevin Hearing, you might want to refresh the stream because I think you're very, very far behind. This would have had a more emotional impact in Team Colonel. Love my content. Uh, content actually have one of my vids saved in your playlist. Oh, thanks, Ace Gamer. Which vid uh, do you have saved in my play in your playlist? Jack in, Colonel, power up. That feels so crazy to say. Melfisark, I do love Medi, and that was. Uh, oh, this isn't the. This isn't the one I need to go to. Um, that was the reason that I actually got Team Proto Man previously was uh, because. <laughs> I wanted to, to have Medi on my team, but um, I am playing the opposite version of the one that I grew up with. Uh, so I am now playing um, Team Colonel this time around, which I've not played this version before, so. Alrighty. We'll get to end area two. We'll get to end area via or in area two. This moment would have been even more impactful if it was Cha who gave you Proto Man. Yeah, no, I totally get that. I do remember that being really fucking awesome when that happened and uh, when I played the Proto Man version back in the day. Walls of the Forest. Oh, the song to this day still hits very hard. I love Mario RPG. Oh, thanks. I I'm really proud of that cartoon, so thank you so much for enjoying it. Have you seen uh, Ross Forest as well? That was the original Mario RPG music video that I did. We were just talking about that game a little while ago, actually. I would have loved to do a third one if something of significance of some kind ever happens with Mario RPG again someday. Um, whatever that may or may not be, I don't know, but, uh, I hope. I really, truly, genuinely hope someday. Do you think it's weird for Navis to fall in love? Me neither. It's not weird at all. Thanks. That gave me the, that's giving me the courage I needed. Ooh, can almost get that, huh? There's this ship I want, but I'm short on funds. I asked for a small discount. I just got a funny look. about the interview with the creator of Super Mario RPG. Uh... Huh. Oh, was it, um... The director, who's like the the, the, the uh, drum player as well, like the percussionist? I'm trying to remember his name. I've interacted with him once very briefly before, because a friend of mine knows him. Oh, I feel so bad. I can't remember his name. But if it's the interview I'm thinking of, um... I do remember watching that maybe a year or two ago? I think? Hi, Emerald Gumi, welcome. Eh, I'll save it for another time. Get a guardian at some point. Although, no, you know what? No, I really want it. I'll grind for some money. Favorite Austin Powers movie? Probably the second one. I remember the second one being the funniest. I would love to get some fucking Yeti, please. Lamau. I 
There we go, that's better. Should've made a remastered version or a remake. I mean, that'd be amazing if they ever do, but I don't know, I really doubt it. That was this was recent. The creator said he wanted to, his last game before he retires to be a sequel. That does sound vaguely familiar. I think I did hear something about that. Yeah, I don't. Tweet a link to the interview to me because maybe uh, if I see it, I'll I'll remember it better. Mega Man is missing. Please don't make us learn geography. <laughs> The rides for Mario RPG, I think, are split between Nintendo and Square Enix. Yeah, I know that that's what it would take. I mean, Nintendo and Square have collabed since then. You know, it's not impossible. There we go. And now... Give me that shit! Thank you. Square was being kind of stingy with. Well, that's not the only example, though. Because um, they've done the. Uh, they collaborated on the Mario Hoops uh, 3 on 3 mm -hmm. basketball game a long time ago. They've done uh, Fortune Street with the Dragon Quest characters and stuff. Um, you know, some of those 2.5 uh, HD remakes of those. Uh, those classic Square Enix games, they've started as, squ as Switch exclusives first before they get ported to other consoles and things. So, I don't know, they've been in really good, uh, they've been in very good standing with each other, it seems like. So, I, I don't know, that's what I'm saying, it doesn't seem like it's impossible nowadays. And not to mention, who the hell knows what they're gonna do with the Mario and Luigi series anymore? It seems like that might be kind of over. Um, or even the Paper Mario series, I have no idea. So, we'll see what happens. David Vink RPGs. Oh, well, somebody else can look up that interview and can link it to me. The David Vink uh, interview. Let me know, because I'd love to check it out. In case it's, it's one that I haven't seen already, because it might be the one that I've seen, but I can't recall. Dead. Why do we not get Geno for Smash? I mean, I'm not surprised that we didn't get Geno for Smash, honestly. Life is like this floor. Once you pass by a place, you can never go back again. <laughs> Did I just blow your mind? Uh, you didn't, actually, but, you know, thanks. Weirdo. Think we can open it, Colonel? Not likely. We'll need the right key before we can do that. The door is under Sar Lab control. Maybe we should head over to Sli Sar Lab area. Call you Trey for short. Got it. Good to know.
Which the other navvies you played still had their special abilities, like standing still for too long would make Nightman invincible, or using sword chips uh, would let uh, Proto Man automatically lock on. Now, do those special abilities, do they only happen in, um, what's it called? Uh, in the in the liberation missions, like does Colonel have a special ability right now that like uh, that uh, that like I can't use while I'm controlling him like this? I, I don't know. YouTuber, he didn't do this interview himself, but read an article about it on his channel. Oh, okay, was it from like a Japanese interview? Okay. Yeah, honestly, Ace Gamer, I've heard so many, like, theories like that as to, oh, it's obvious that, you know, this character wasn't put in Smash because of this reason, like, from people that don't know fucking anything about the video game industry. And I don't say that, like, oh, because I know so much more about, you know, I'm not saying, like, I know better than them, but, like, I don't know. It's just one of those things where I'm like, eh, none of these, none of those types of theories, like the ones that you were, you were referencing, like, I don't know. They just don't really seem very legitimate to me. When it's something that's given straight up by the word of somebody else, like that, that actually is working in in the industry. I mean, like for Christ's sake, Sakurai has talked about why certain characters have and have not made it in. Like that is so much more legitimate than just like you know some fucking random person on like a YouTube channel or a forum or whatever. You know what I mean? And that's a very jaded way of looking at things, to be honest. But I don't know. Just. I've literally heard five Smash Brothers games worth of, like, people on the internet and otherwise being like, Oh, well, I mean, clearly it's because of this. I'm like, is it clearly? Is it clearly because of that? Like, you know? Like, you were there? Boink. Don't. Thank God. Okay, I thought it was gonna fucking lightning away the fucking, uh, prize. Make Poppy's Playtime the first horror game. You'll try to play uh i don't know i don't really know much about it i, I think i've actually kind of heard mixed things but i don't know i'm not jumping out of my seat to play horror games necessarily but yeah that's the other thing too like ridley used to is used to say that uh, Sakurai said that Ridley was too big previously, uh, and then changed his mind due to Phantom Man. So, even, you know, people can change their fucking minds. Who can say? Oh, Poppy's playtime ended up going down the NFT rabbit hole. Ah, oh, that's a shame. Glad that kind of like came and went, that whole fucking craze. This is getting really fucking annoying. I'm gonna listen to shit about that every day. Oh, thank you for the compliments on uh, the Tome game, Ace Gamer. Really, uh, uh, the the Tome series that is. Although, if you, I hope that maybe you've tried out the Tome game too, if, if possible. Um, yeah, there's gonna be news very soon about the third and final uh, Tome A to Z movie. So uh, stay tuned for that. That'll probably be right at the beginning of June. Hey, out of the way, I'm jogging here. What? You want to know why I'm jogging? <laughs> That's a secret. Oh. You're gonna, like, unlock a magical fucking, uh, like, secret area, like, in Donkey Kong Country? Oh, wait, do I not have my program stuff? Oh, yeah, wait, hold on a minute. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, no, he doesn't have my, uh, my special stuff on. Okay, well, that's fine. Starting off Pride Month with Zeta. What do you mean? <laughs> Ooh, 
Wish Sakurai could give us more info on Smash development. I mean, he, uh, oh shit. Um, he has been with, uh, shit. Damn it. Bastard! Um, yeah, oh, uh, yeah, as, uh, Rapel R R Rapolo has been saying, yeah, um, he's, he's gone into some, uh, behind-the-scenes stuff on the videos on his channel, actually. It's been pretty cool, so. If you haven't checked out the Making Games with Masahiro Sakurai, uh, YouTube channel, please do yourself a favor. What is a pocket chooser? Water level aboard the ship is the most annoying level in this game. Oh, is it underwater? I thought this was the way to the Scilab homepage. Yeah, I don't- the only level that I very distinctly remember from this game was, uh, the, uh, the mine level, because I played that in Japanese as well as when I got it in English later. I don't remember much else. Welcome, this is the webpage for Scilab, with the top mines in Latopia gather. I see, so once the dark power builds up to a certain level, it manifests in physical form. Bye, Kudo, take care. One theory claims that dark ships were created from people's hate. Do you remember that paper Dr. Hikari published? Oh, hey, Triforce. See the fucking subway logo shit now. <laughs> Please take your time. Those nebula fiends are raising havoc to no end, but Scilab's going to put a stop to it soon. We're gonna show them a thing or two. All kinds of debates are carried out on this page. How about joining in sometime? Oh god. You get to the part of the ship that you need a code to pass. It's 11, 9, 22, 9, 11. You said you'd never forget. Uh... Scilab controls the door to Oron Area 2. We might find something in Scilab Area. Okay, I guess not here. Find it hilarious that RPG Zeto is a try-hard competitive douche. Love that touch. Yeah, he, I wanted to make that version of him just the most irredeemable piece of shit ever. Is there a sandwich man DXC? I hope not. One of those Japanese word puzzles that don't translate well into English? Oh, interesting. Okay. Yeah, I don't remember it, so I guess we'll get up to it when we see it. Alright, so... I guess otherwise we should try Scilab Area 3? Uh, Mega Santos, yes. I have played, um... I have played Mega Man X 1 all the way through. I started X 2 and never finished it. Are you fucking serious? Um, and I played uh, most of X 5. I, I stopped at the, the Sigma series of stages because I couldn't beat the... Um, and no joke, it was called the Black Devil was the name of the fucking boss. Uh, sorry to my <laughs> people of color viewers. Uh, dark chip influence is still strong in this area. Some very careful decontamination will be necessary. We should probably keep ordinary navvies away for now. Of course, we'll make an exception for you. Go on in. 
Lan, we're gonna challenge Shadow Man. Here he comes, Len. Leave it to me. Battle routine set. Execute. Um, and then I played... Uh... There we go. Uh, I played... Uh, all of X8. Nice. If you can do it again next time. There's three ninja stars. I'm try to attack behind the enemy. Circle around and attack. Everything explodes when touchdown. Interesting. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I've never played uh, the rest of the ones that I didn't list. You know, X3, X4, X6 or 7. X4 is supposedly the best one. Really? Oh. I've seen everything of X4 many, many, many times, and all the infamous bad voice acting cutscenes and all that shit, of course, but... Yeah, I never played it myself. Ben, I've got a tidy before people arrive. Oh, this is a secret. What, you want to know why it's a secret? You have to do these things discreetly. That's the best way. Selfie, excuse me. Spick and span, spick and span. game was an RPG, that was, um, yeah, Command Mission, which I've also never played before. And I was told mostly not great things about it, unfortunately. Stop being sick? What do you mean? Welcome to Scilab 3. It's famous for the longest corridor in the net. Go on, run all the way down it. The security cube was placed long ago. Can't be in love without a speed code. Oh yeah, good old flame high and arbor under the ground. Oh, fucking Wes and I do that at each other once in a while. <laughs> Never played the Legends games. They are definitely an acquired taste. As much as I love them, um, they're a little hard to recommend. And the other thing is, unfortunately, because there's no ending, it's kind of just like a big bummer. You know? Well, there's nothing I can do. Also, we said about the X and ZX series. Yeah, that's true. But also because there's like so many games and they're all so solid and shit. It's a little bit different. Oh, bug frag trader. Okay. Ooh.
Fucker. Always had a thing for any type of game is never picky. That's a good attitude to have, to just enjoy any game you possibly can for what they are. Time to practice our greetings before the Navi show up. Okay, speak loudly. Welcome to Scilab 4! Welcome to Scilab 4! Phew, I understand working hard, but there's a limit, you know. Is this the first area we've been to that has a 4? Loved the X Games, but Zero was way too hard for you. You know, it's funny, I wasn't big on the X Games as a kid because they were way too hard. And even though the Zero games are really fucking hard, I just loved uh, the... Um, I loved the story and aesthetics so much that I just kind of dealt with it and played through them anyway. I love the Zero series very, very much. Probably... I don't know if it's my second favorite after Battle Network. I'm not sure. Excuse me. What? You want me to open the door to Oron Area 2? That door leads to End Area. Nebula's still strong there. You're pretty tough yourself, but can you fight all the way through? If you can defeat all the viruses I release, I'll give you a key to open that door. But if you fail, it proves you're just another Navi. Are you ready? Yes. Okay, let's go. Ha! No choice but to recognize your power. Here, just like I promised. Nice. No matter how strong you are, don't do anything reckless. That'd be like terrifying people. If you value your life, don't get too involved. Uh, Ace Gamer, um, Colonel and Zero are totally separate characters. They're not related to each other. Um, in, uh, in either incarnation of what, whether it be the X version of them or, um, oh, fuck. Uh, or the, uh, um, 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 Battle Network versions of them. They're, they're totally disconnected. So. On the Zero and ZX games to be a breeze. Wait, X is actually hard? I thought, I thought I just sucked. Oh, yeah, no, they're, they're very difficult. I even remember way back in the day, there was a, an episode of, on G4 Tech TV, there was a show called Icons, where, uh, they did an ep, uh, kind of, sort of, kind of a, a uh, a documentary sort of video thing episode of it. I can't speak fucking English today. Um, that was all about Mega Man, and they interviewed Keiji Inafune in it. Uh, that's how I first learned who he was. And um, there was one guy that they interviewed that was like, I tend to not like that Mega Man X games because they are really difficult, and they kind of make me want to throw my controller at, at my TV or whatever. And I'm like, oh good, I'm not alone in that, okay. Um, which is such a bummer because most of the really hardcore Mega Man fans that I knew, their favorite was X. Like, that was the big one that they were way into, so. Oh, there it goes. Yeah, in fact, um, oh, hello. One of the chips I bought online was kind of strange. Alright, uh, no, I don't want your fucking dark chip. Goodbye. Alright, let's go fuck out here. I'm set from here. Um Yeah, in Mega Man X4, uh Zero and Colonel are uh, are actually adversaries. They're kind of like these rival characters. And uh Zero has this kind of romantic uh kind of thing going on with uh his his sort of sister uh Repleroid. Uh, Iris, who there will be a Battle Network equivalent of her uh, coming up in the next game, actually. Um, and in this version, uh, Colonel's a regular net navy, and Zero is a virus that became a net navy. So. Whoop. We'll need them for Chaos Unison. I ain't using Chaos Unison! I'm a good boy! X is the edgy older brother of the Mega Man franchise. No, not really. He's 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 a straight laced kind of guy. Zero is the is the edgy older brother to X, if anything. Which 
Which one? Hold on. Which one leads to? And again, that's three. Okay, it's the bottom path. Got it. Okay. Just checking. Mm -hmm. X five is the best one of them all. X five was the one that I thought personally was the coolest, but I've heard a lot of people don't like that one very much. Uh, yes, the cheat, um, uh, there was an EXE version of Zero that was in the Battle Network, uh, GameCube platformer game, which was called Mega Man Network Transmission. Um, I guess people debate if it's canon or not for some reason, but it, it's supposed to take place between, uh, Mega Man Battle Network 1 and 2, so... Toad Chaos is straight broken. Snork Lover, I have been tempted by so many fucking friends of mine to play Fortnite, and I still haven't taken them up on it, so... Same reason people don't like Skyward Sword, Alia is constantly interrupting you. Do you mean, you mean Fi? Is Alia even, Alia's a Twilight Princess, isn't it? I can't remember. Toad Chaos spams wide waves. Oh, it is, is the, does it have um, the wide shot as its ability? GameCube game is officially canon to the Battle Network series. Then why were like 15 different fucking people in my chat saying it's not canon actually and like what lot news to me? My advice is to play the fucking idiot. Oh my god. The first uh half of the X Legacy collection, see if you like it, then like what Well, the thing was, I had the Mega Man X anniversary collection many years ago. And I already tried them, and I didn't like them that much. So then I actually gave them away. I think I traded it to somebody for um, a uh, uh, a copy of the Zero Collection, if I'm remembering correctly. Um, oh, Alia. Oh, oh, right, right, right. Sorry, I thought, isn't there a Zelda character also named Alia? Or, you know, Alia. Alia is who I'm thinking of. Alia is from fucking... Uh, uh, Mega Man X. Yeah, that's right. That's right. We're gonna use side key. To do, ta da, to dee. All right, here we go. Because people don't like how Battle Network adapted Zero. They don't. Why? He was cool. Zero Ixie was 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 pretty sick. Oh, the Krabbies. They have a boxed copy of Mega Man X1 on SNES. Wow, cool. What do we got? Ooh, Colette. Oh, okay. That's good for getting more chips. First to hear said you didn't like the X games that much. Well, you know what? Though, Mega Santos, someday I might I might still play them anyway, just to say that I have played them all at least once myself. So who knows? Maybe someday I'll come around. Have I played any Zelda games? Um Yes, the only ones that I've ever beaten are Ocarina of Time, and that's it. That's the only one I've ever beaten. Um, I've played through ma the majority of Majora's Mask, the Majora T of Majora's Mask. Hope someone gets rid of Nebula soon. I can't do business like this. I'm a net dealer. I want to see my stuff. Who am Canon? Cool. Yeah. Come back for you later. Um, 
I started Twilight Princess and didn't finish it. Um, I just wasn't into it. I think they're all brilliant games. They're they're amazing, but for some reason I'm I'm not all that big into playing them. Oh, and I did. I had the NES one, and uh, I. I didn't like it that much, and I wasn't good at it, so I actually traded it. Funnily enough, because I was I was so big into Mega Man, I traded my original cart of Zelda for Mega Man 2. Um, to the babysitter, uh, whose house I was at, when I came up with the Kerber for screen name when I was 12 years old. Now with an unfortunate fate, have you, Kerb? Yeah, kinda. Currently playing Tears of the Kingdom. I'll probably watch uh, Toxic play that when she gets to it. She's got to beat Breath of the Wild first. I've watched uh, playthroughs of most of the, the major ones. Like, I've seen all of Twilight Princess, like, in video form. I thought it was fucking fantastic. I love the the visual aesthetics of uh, Twilight Princess. Like, that, that might be my favorite one visually, for sure. What is it, Colonel? Someone's near. Here he comes. Zelda for Mega Man 2, not a bad trade. One piece of gaming history for another. Oh, hey, what's up, Nathan? Shout out to Nathan Lindley, uh, the uh, head programmer of the uh, Tome video game, and also one of the head programmers on the uh, Advance Wars 1 Plus 2 Reboot Camp. Oh, Colonel, nothing gets past you, does it? A nebula agent, show yourself. <gasps> Me Mega Man! I'm Dark Mega Man. And Master Regal has placed me in charge of security here. You're kidding, right? Mega Man, this is no time to joke, buddy! Uh, is that Lan? A joke, this is not. My allegiance is with Master Regal now. I'm a loyal Nebula Navi. And thus, I shall not allow the likes of you to pass. Mega Man, so you've gone completely over to the other side. How observant of you. Very well. But I won't have any qualms destroying you. Wait, Colonel! Lan, I know this must be hard, but he's a Nebula get but he's a Nebula agent now. He's right, Lan! <laughs> Sorry, he's right, Lan. You can't be soft when you're up against Nebula. <sighs> no, destroy me! Hurry! Before the dark power they put inside me it takes over! I thought I'd already flushed him out, but his will still remains! Damn you, stay out of my way! Wayne, now's our chance! I, I can't! Colonel, you saw that too, right? Mega Man hasn't turned Nebula completely, but... Master Dark Mega Man, leave this to us. Yeah, take care of them. He's run away. Hey there, it's our turn now. You think three navvies of your level can stand a chance against me? <laughs> Who said there are only three of us? What? The individual is weak, but the collective is strong. Wanna try us? I had no idea there were so many. Shoot, if we had Mega Man with us, then we'd have a chance. Colonel, let's retreat for now. Even if we fought him one, it would damage you badly. We can't be on a liberation mission in this condition. Shoot, if only we had an ally strong enough to fill Mega Man's shoes. What's wrong? Ready or not, here we come! Jack out, Colonel! Let's go devise a strategy with Barrel! Shoot! Go back to mission control now. I might want to take a break here 
to get some food, because me hungry. But let's uh, set up the next level and then we'll, we'll figure it out. Well, Letopia Sight Lab is something else. I've been here for days and there's still places left to see. Incredible! Oh, Mega Man and Land's portraits were dynamic. Oh, do they have, like, more expressions and stuff? Nebula got Mega Man. I see. I'm sorry. I shouldn't have stopped, Colonel. Now it will be even harder to liberate the end area. It's okay. Even if Colonel had shut down Mega Man, it wouldn't have stopped the Nebula backup coming. But with the Nebula forces in the end area having overcome Mega Man, we've lost a lot of ground. It's a serious problem. Yeah, well, how about talking... Yeah, well, how about taking in Nightman and Shadow Man, then? They're both great navvies, that's for sure, but we're up against too many. Even if we had Mega Man, we couldn't beat them without casualties. What we need right now is an ally with serious power who can take out a bunch of enemies in a single blow. Yeah, but who? Anyway, we can't just get into End Area without a plan. For now, I need you to work on another task, man. Another task? Right now, the luxury passenger liner, Queen Bohemia, is in port behind Scylab. I've got wind of a party that's going to be held on board the ship tomorrow by a certain company from Electopia. The guest list is full of the world's top business people and royals. Sounds pretty important. What's it all about? Ubercore, the company hosting the party, is going to present a booster system it has developed. Apparently, it can multiply the power of any program. You should go to the, uh, the auction. Auction? So they're going to sell this booster system? Yes. And we've reason to believe Nebula's after it. And it's a system that can power up programs, right? If Nebula got a hold of something like that, that's your task to stop that from happening. Roger. So I'll have to get to the Queen Bohemia tomorrow then, right? Yes, except you'll need an invite to board the ship. And I suppose you don't have one, right? You were supposed correctly. You'll have to get it yourself somehow. What? I don't know any top business people in Royals. No, wait! I do know a Royals person. I do know someone who's got a Royal... I know someone who's fucking loaded. I'll go ask them right now. See ya, Beryl. Lan. What's wrong? It's about Mega Man. You know we might come up against him as an enemy. If we do, would you be able to take him out? Mega Man's soul has been completely overrun by darkness. Then yes, I'll be the one to take him out. I'll have to. Really? Yes. Oh, a lot of the characters had dynamic portraits. Oh, okay. Someone who has an invite to a party. We'll see. <laughs> Lan, have you seen how I dress? <laughs> yeah. I should... You know, I've probably seen those portraits, but, uh... Yeah, I'd be curious to look them up again, because it's been a long time since I've probably seen the sprites of them. An invite to the, to the party on the Queen Bohemia? Silly you, why would I have one? Only the most elite CEOs of the world's corporations and a few princesses are invited to that one. What? Oh. Uh... Okay. Huh. Um... Who else do I know would have one? Girl sure is cute. Sure is. Oh! What the fuck am I talking about? Of course! <laughs> oh, I don't know! Only a fucking princess, Neosi! Oh, it's you, Lan. What can I do for you? Well, actually, I was wondering if you could have got an invite to the party being held on the Queen Bohemia, Pride. An invite? Yes, I think I did. If you don't mind, I was wondering if I could have it? That's fine, Lan, but why do you want to go to the party? It's work. Ah, work. You're certainly busy, Lan. I hope nothing bad happens. Thanks. But are you sure you don't mind? Didn't you want to go? I don't really like parties. I'm sure you'll get more out of it than I. Thanks. Okay, I'll be on my way then. The big party's tomorrow. Go home and rest up. Okie dokie. Oh. 
Boy, I didn't mean to do that. Oops. I like her hat. Yeah, her hat's cute. Queen Bohemia. Oh, yeah, that is a good little musical reference. Bedtime already. Save complete. Big day tomorrow. Sleep well. Okay, I guess it's time to get going. Party full of rich people. Whew, I'm pretty nervous. Better pull myself together. Alright. So, let's head to the port. This, wow, you got an invite to the Queen Bohemia? Is this real life or just fantasy? <laughs> oh, Nathan. Bless you. Alright. So, Queen Bohemia will be departing shortly. Would anyone with an invite please board immediately? Okay. So, let's pick an episode of Mega Man Anti Warrior Access to Watch. Which one should we watch today? Let's see. Um, Shade Man's high hopes. Hmm. Well, we did fight Shade Man in the previous episode, so we could watch a uh, a Shade Man centric episode. Why not? Whoops. Shush. Stop. All right. So everybody. Cue up this episode. All right, everybody. I'll go ahead and pin that. So, uh, real quick, I am going to get some food. We can also do a little retweet. Um, got half our team collected. So let's take a break to watch. So, oh, hold on. Come watch an episode of NT Warrior Access with us. And then we'll go track down Tomahawk. Man. Alrighty. Cool. Sweet. Okay. Uh, I will be back momentarily. Everybody cue that episode up. And like usual, uh, we will go three, two, one, and play. Um, and uh, we will... Um, and, uh, on the word play, we'll all start the episode in sync. So, uh, be right back in just a few moments.
Alrighty. Let me know, everybody, if you got the, um, the episode queued up and good to go. Let me know in chat if you're ready. Um, as per the usual, it will be three, two, one, play. And on the word play, hit the play button and we will begin watching. Whew. Go. Okay. Alrighty. This is Shade Man's High Hopes. Three, two, one, play. Now, 
is it? Head back is logging out. Good work, Proto Man. I'm getting a bad feeling that if we don't stop this dark chip problem soon, the entire net will be destroyed. A large stash of dark chips was found? Yes, sir. We received an anonymous tip revealing the location and security details. The information sounds convincing. Frankly, it sounds much too good to be true. But, sir, if there's even the slightest chance the tip is good, we should investigate. It could be a trap, you know. Yes, sir, I know. But I think we should take every chance we can to stop the spread of the dark chips. Well, then, I leave this in your hands. Thank you. Oh. Sir, I'm going to check out a delivery truck from the suspected warehouse. Hello there. W what is it? What's wrong? Net police. I need to inspect your truck. Stuffed animals? Here's where they mm -hmm. probably regret. Well, that's weird. Casting this actress know? as that's also weird. Miss Mari and Miss Yuri because yeah. they're all in the same fucking scenes together. Dark chips. Next up, the warehouse. Looks like the tip was good, Chief. I'm on my way to the warehouse now. I'll send back up. Let me see what I can find out first. Alright, but be careful. Mm -hmm. I will. Well, what do we have here? Looks like someone's poking their nose where it doesn't belong. Well, you know what they say about people who go looking for trouble. They usually find it. This time's no different. Okay, driving up to the front gate was easy enough. They sound the fucking same. I literally remember as a kid watching this, I'm just like, are you fucking serious, guys? Like, come on. <laughs> Honestly, if I had to guess, I think they probably just saw Manuela or Manabe as like a bit part in the first episode, and they were like, oh, Janice, you do it, whatever, you're already here because you're playing Miss Mari. I think it was just like a, oops, oh, we didn't realize this character was going to come back for like multiple episodes. Uh, Can be fixed, right, Dad? I just don't know yet, Lan. The personality programs are badly damaged. Yeah, I don't think they had anything to do with the budget. I think that was just like a oops. The dark chip. Despite all our work, we still haven't figured out how it operates. And until we do, we're helpless. We can't repair navies or even protect them. We have to. <coughs> This actor, uh, Robert O. Smith, um, this was, uh, this actor's passed away, unfortunately. He was an old school voice actor. Yes, 
Or at least a lot of them. But we can't know for sure unless we get inside. Yeah, and we better do that soon. If the Dark Lord saw you, I'm sure they're trying to get rid of the chips. So if we well, don't enough, get in there... That clip when Gravity Man showed up... I just remembered something. When I was a little kid... Because I was, I've, I've mentioned before, I was one of the only people that gave a shit about the voice cast of this show for the dub, because everybody hated the dub so fucking much. And um, I watched this episode in Japanese ahead of time, so I knew when Gravity Man was going to show up, and I wanted to get a clip of him. So I recorded it with my old shitty microphone that I had, and put it on, like, up somewhere for people to listen to, so that they could hear him, so we could figure out who the actor was, because I don't think he was credited, and we had to figure out that it was Rob Smith. job for what it's worth which is absolutely nothing because you're never going to get your hands on those dark chips oh, this warehouse is empty too man was anything ever stored here the only place we haven't been is that office building dash condor battle chip in Chips must be in here somewhere. Proto man. They might be in the basement. Let's go. Right. The only way to reach it is from the elevator straight ahead. Much longer. 
Brad is like killing it on land this episode. He's like really stepping it up this one. What? How can this be? Only one dark chip. We had to leave you something, Shane. Miss Yuri? We appreciate your assistance in trying to protect our supply of dark chips. But the fact is, we already had them removed from that location some time ago. As a precautionary measure, you understand. That dark chip is our reward to you for going out of your way to help us. Please take it with our compliments. Isn't it strange how the Net Police found out about this place? I mean, there are only three of us who knew its exact location after all. 
The mysterious man, myself, and one dark lord. Very strange, isn't it? <sighs> My plans were ruined, but I'm not done. <laughs> oh, boy. Who's that? Crush noise! He's the dark lord that broke into Silo and stole those synchro chips. What? Noise crush, not crush noise. Foolish humans. Poor shade man, he's fucking evil. What are you talking about? <laughs> he's gone. And the dimensional area too. I've never seen a dark lord with more raw power. I mean, he just took us down with one shot. I know. We got trouble. Sweet. That was a good one. Yeah, I forgot. I, I think I had taped this episode because I like very vividly remembered a lot of stuff that was going on in it. Even though it had been years. Banjo Kazooie with Lyrics Guy. Yeah, that's me, Parappa 900. <laughs> that's going a long time ago I made that video. Alright, uh, I'm going to throw out uh, some garbage real quick from food. And then I'm going to use the bathroom. And then we will get back to the game. And uh, we'll board that ship and go find uh, Tomahawk Man. Brew book.
Hold up. Independent message. Okay. There we go. All right. Let's get back to it. Let's do it to it. No. Excuse me. Wow, it's so much more impressive up close. Excuse me, may I see your invite, please? That's fine, you're welcome to go on board. You can board the Queen Bohemia if you have an invite. I didn't know that. What a bummer. Once you've boarded, you can't return to port for a while. Is that alright? Then please, step on board. Now, I believe, wasn't Napalm Man the, like, offense navy that was the equivalent in Team Proto Man? So I've never gotten to play with Tomahawk Man before. It's exciting. What a ship! These rich guys sure know how to throw a party. This is a passenger announcement. We are now departing. A further announcement will be made when the party is about to begin. We wish you all a pleasant voyage. The vessel is now leaving port. Oh, looks like we're away. Wow, you can't feel it roll at all. Okay, Colonel, what's the plan? First, we check if there's anyone suspicious on board. Roger. I see. It'll be done before the party starts. Yes, of course. Thank you. How are you enjoying the cruise? Sorry, but the engine room's out of bounds for passengers. Oh, sorry. Which way is it to the deck, then? You need to go back along this corridor the other way. All right, thanks. Uh, alrighty? He's suspicious. Uh-oh, he's coming this way. What are you trying to say, Lan? Huh? More like, what are you trying to say, Capcom? This is the reason they have the fucking we're sorry note at the beginning. <laughs> He's gone. What now, Colonel? Let's just tread water for a while. Tread water? So, what, there's a pool on board? Or do you mean diving into the sea? That's dangerous. I mean, let's let him carry on doing what he wants for a bit. But wait and see if he does anything unusual. Oh, right. Special crowd busting talk. <laughs> uh, I'll remember that. I guess I'll just be trading in water then. No, not in. Oh, never mind. <laughs> I heard there'd be good food, so I came along with Dad, but he told me to wait in the cabin. He said he's got important business to discuss. It's not fair, all that food. Why were you created as a fucking character in this game? Welcome aboard the Queen Bohemia. The deck is straight ahead. It's quite dazzling in the sunlight. I hope you enjoy your luxury cruise with us. Sorry, the party preparations are still going on. You can't come in here now. Oh my god, we have so many guards. Oh, I'm a shadow man, sure. Man, would love something uh, decent that I don't already have. Lamau. One more. Sure. We're good. Alright, I'm moving on. <laughs> I spent 10 million cities customizing my Navi. Can't lose! Don't get in the way of my battle! Take a look. Jesus is not with me. <laughs> Christ. Uh, 
Ugh. Sometimes I take my little Velcro, uh, what's it called? Um, my, uh, arm things that make my fucking wrists not hurt that I can't think of the name of because I'm a fucking idiot. Um, sometimes I take them off just to, like, play without them. And I was immediately reminded, like, no, your wrist hurts. Put them back on, Chris. And I'm like, okay, ha ha he hoo hoo. Uh, I was kind of hoping that the navvies would be in there. I could see Tomahawk Man. Cheers for catching some rays, but don't overdo it. Look, chat. I'm king of the world! I've never seen that movie in my life. I've never seen Titanic. Sorry. The blue water, the shining sun, the sea breeze. Yeah, this is just like being in a tropical resort. The blue water, like the studio where we recorded the voices for the DS version of this game. Jokes that are only funny to Chris Neosi! Anyway. <laughs> ah, hello there. I'm a member of the ship's crew, and I'm putting on a bit of, an, uh, of entertainment to amuse the guests until the party starts. You can take part in a free net battle up on there on the stage, or there's a mystery stamp rally. The stamps are hidden around the ship. The net battle looks a bit busy right now, so why don't you have a go at the mystery stamp rally? Sure. Great, okay, so I'll give you some clues, and you have to find the stamps and bring them to me. This is such a Japanese thing. <laughs> stamp rallies. There are three stamps in total. They're all hidden behind or under things on board. Here are the clues. Spin it around for left and right. Where we sail, a maiden stairs. It repels all light and always reflects me. That's it. You can put the stamps on this. Good luck. Oh, a lot of numbers. Neat. Is it okay to drink ju juice that's so bright blue? How about a drink? I recommend the red, yellow, and green tropical traffic light juice. Oh, tropical traffic light juice. That sounds amazing. And probably terrible for my fucking teeth. Queen Bohemia is an amazing vessel. Just the sort of ship you'd expect Ubercourt to charter. Bum, 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 bum. This computer continues to run endlessly. This is the Queen Bohemia's bridge. You're welcome to look around. It's possible for a single person to operate this ship. That's how far automation has come. Isn't it amazing? With a height of both luxury and technology here. Cold man reference on that drink, really? Ship navigation is controlled by computer. Are you the captain? I'm the captain of the Queen Bohemia. What? You don't think I'm dressed like a captain? I got these clothes and hat when I first took the wheel. Mind you, that was a tiny ship compared to this fine vessel, but I've had this as my uniform ever since. Guess you could say it's a bit of a tradition. It's also because we didn't want to make a separate sprite for a fucking sailor guy, so. The captain's chair and needs a dignified aura. Spins right and left. Could it be this? There! A stamp behind the ship's wheel! Cool, I got a stamp! Plate reading Queen Bohemia, followed by the dates the ship was built and took its maiden voyage. A life preserver. Well, let's hope we never have to use it. Life jackets hang here. This is one thing I hope to never need. Miles and miles. Hang on, you can see where the ship's sailing. Aha, there's a stamp on top of the maiden's head. Good kids aren't supposed to mess around. What would happen if I fell over? Cool, I got a stamp. party's room. There's a mirror on one side. The ladies probably use this to freshen up. An impressive scene adorns the wall. The finely painted fireworks are very colorful. Is this a different image in the Japanese version, I think? Isn't this like the Last Supper or something? I vaguely remember something about that. For the presentation to be made on such a grand ship as this, Uber Corp must be very confident in their new product. It's very exciting.
huge, expensive looking mirror. A fitting picture for such a grand ship. <laughs> into the fucking ocean. Repels all light and always reflects this. A mirror repels all light, and that mirror over there is reflecting onto the sofa. Carefully applies the sofa stamp. Cool, I got a stamp! We did it. Yeah, I vaguely remember seeing something about that somewhere. Ah, you've collected all the stamps! Here's your prize then, a thousand zennies! Congratulations! No way, I'm beat! It's not possible! It cost me 10 million zennies to customize my navy! How can I be so outclassed? Ha! Spend all the cash you want in your navy, you won't win! I hate rich people like you! What did you say? Who let this low life on the ship? I don't remember how, uh, Denji or, or Firefox stupid fucking name. I don't remember why he was invited. I'm assuming maybe Dingo is like, maybe considered the prince of, of his country or something, or, or kingdom. Ha! Isn't there anyone better on board? I invited him to spice up the battle challenge a bit. His name's Dingo. No one's ever been able to defeat him. Why don't you give it a go? Oh, okay, they were both invited just to be a challenger. Got it. Never defeated. I'll teach him a thing or I'll, t I'll teach him a thing or two. Maybe that was very presumptuous of me then to fucking <laughs> presume that he was a prince. Because I remember in the show he was just like a normal dude. I'm Lan. You want to want a challenge? Take me on. You seem pretty sure of yourself. And you look pretty determined too. I'll wipe the floor with you. If you think you can, bring it on. <sighs> Uh-oh. What was that? Lan, that means Nebula's on the move. What? That shaking must have been the engine room's been. That shaking must. Have... <clears throat> that shaking must mean the engine room's been hit. Okay, on my way. Sorry, this will have to wait. Ha! Everyone's too chicken. But you seem different. Sure. See you later. I can wait for the battle. Come back later. Code red. Switch to manual mode. Please enter security code. Thanks for the hint. Incorrect. Oh, never mind. Sorry, the party's preparations are still going on. You can't come in here now. I thought that was what it was. Something might have happened in the engine room. Now, what was the security code for the door? I didn't remember it. Double one and nine two. Tonight makes eleven. Is that it? Oh, okay. Double one and nine two two nine makes eleven. Right, okay, yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, a little esoteric, but okay. Security code checked past. Door unlocked. Okay, it's open. Careful. Anything could be in there. Okay. So this is the engine room. First I better find a place to check in. No, I remember it was worn before. Let's do an inspection tunnel. I wonder if I could jack into this one. Oh, cool, there's a port. I could jack in.
Jack in! Colonel! Power up! I'm nebulin' at me, huh? Huh? Who the heck are you? You won't get the booster system. Ha! You think you can stop me? Colonel, get after him! Okay, this isn't the ship comp. The actual level hasn't started yet. Ow. Could have gotten that. If I was good enough, but I wasn't. Yeah, he just power walks away like it's nothing. Uh. Lol, that casual escape walk. Is that a JoJo thing? <laughs> Is that a fucking JoJo reference, Lamau? Do you seriously think you could stop me with a virus? Lanny Kari, leave him to me. Battle routine set. Execute. Virus. Let's do it, Land. Bring on as many viruses as you want. We'll still win. Battle routine set. Execute. Uh, Lloyd, I did that because I, I couldn't quite tell what his accent was supposed to be from Mega Man X4, but uh, I didn't want to make him Russian like in the in the DS version. Um, it just kind of evolved. I didn't know what exactly kind of like alternative English accent that I was using, so it just kind of turned into Australian. 
No more talking. Good luck, Lan. Leave it to me, Colonel. Battle routine set. Execute. Care of them. You put your Nintendo Switch name as Curb Sun to honor my YouTube channel icon. Oh, thanks, X Gamer. Really appreciate that. I've had enough of you. Get ready. Change of tactics. I'm jacking out. You're lucky. This isn't over. Colonel, I'm jacking out too. Uh, Zega, we are trying to save the uh, Queen Bohemia. What's that? Wait! White Lynn. What, Colonel? He's getting away! We mustn't rush. The criminal's still on board. And we know what he's after. It could be dangerous to act on his on impulse. He'll turn up at the party for Sewell. We'll take our time and make sure we catch him there. I guess you're right. This is a passenger announcement. The party preparations are complete. Please make your way to the Fiesta Room. Last, the party's gonna start. Now we'll get the nebula guy. Here's a question. If they had ever dubbed the later stuff for NT Warrior that had Colonel in it, would you have wanted the Russian accent or would you have wanted uh, whatever that English accent that he had in Mega Man X4 or no accent and just a cool sounding voice? I'm genuinely curious about that because like if I were casting it and and like deciding on exactly what I wanted to do with the accent or, or lack thereof, I would be kind of conflicted on that. Are you enjoying yourself? The food today is being cooked by a top chef called in from one of Natopia's finest restaurants. This is my company's best ever business opportunity. The party has to go perfectly. Land is reflected in the mirror on the pillar, but we didn't have enough memory to d do d fucking uh, real uh, reflections in this game. Display stand with a built-in hologram system. There's also a port for jacking in. Oh. In fact, kind of a coupled question with that. Oh, okay, thanks. Um, this display span is a built in hologram system. Wee, pretty high tech, huh? Yeah, that's what I was gonna ask as well. Is Beryl from Netopia slash uh, Amaropa? Um, because that's the thing, if, like, if he was from Sharo. Then it would make sense for Colonel to be Russian or Beryl to be Russian. Um, but if he's from Natopia, I feel like that choice doesn't really make sense. I'm trying to remember the name of the actor that played him in the game, and because he, he did Proto Man as well, it was like Jonathan something. I can't remember his last name. Um, and he had also been in uh, one of the other Mega Man games, 
that uh, Blue Water had done back then. Look at this food, a lavish spread of dishes from all over the world. Land gets hungry. A lavish spread of dishes from around the world. Land gets hungry. The food's superb, all made with the finest ingredients. I never get bored of these flavors. I wonder if I could get some wrap to take away. <laughs> Fine statue that features a mirror rests on a pillar. This lady is the boss of a famous oil company, you know. This gentleman is the boss of an IT-related industry that holds a huge market share worldwide. He's a very handsome man. Ladies and gentlemen, I would like to thank you all for attending this party today where we at Ubercorp are proud to unveil our new booster system. When added to any existing program, this booster system radically enhances the program's performance. Construction work, software R&D. It can be used with anything, including, of course, net navvies. We're offering it for just 300 million zennies. 300 million? That's one, 10, 100, 100,000, 10,000, 100,000, a million, 10 million, 100 million, eight zeros? No way! 300 million, what a bargain. Let's see the device then. Huh? Did you just say it was a bargain? So, without further delay... The booster system is currently inside this view comp. If everyone would take would care to take a look, here it is! Welcome, Villain Odell MCU. This is the booster system our company has developed. Surrounding it are guard navvies, reinforced with the booster system. They're ten times more powerful than normal navvies. Woo! And now you'll all witness the power of the booster system. A, a power cut? What's going on? Gwar! What's happening? Is the booster system safe? Turn the lights on! Quickly! You turn the lights that stop me. Oh, it's gone! The booster system! What the? The booster system's been stolen! This is Nebula's doing! Where's that guy? Wait a minute. Hey mister, when the power cut out, did anyone go in or out of this room? No way, I was guarding this exit the whole time. A mouse couldn't have gotten past me. Then the thief is still in this room. Hey! This guy was hiding under the table. What do you think you're doing? I don't know about th anything about this. Quit playing the innocent! Everyone, this guy's with Nebula. What? Hey! Where's the booster system? Give it back now! Ugh. It wasn't me. Oh, come on. You expect us to believe that? You're hiding it under your clothes. Ah! Oh, no! It's not in his PT, not in his clothes. Where is it? I already told you. I don't know. I was just about to take it when the lights went down. What? S so there's another thief at work here? Yeah, I'm not the only one. What? So we've got another criminal to find among these people? Lan, it seems to me that everyone in the room is innocent. The thief must have somehow jumped into the view comp, defeated the eight god navvies, and taken the booster system. It would have been real hard to operate a navvy in that dark, and near impossible to beat those beefed up guard navvies. So it must have been some kind of trick. Let's look for clues. Check the room. There may be a trick. Oh, wait. Jack into the... What? Huh.
What was it that drunken customer said? Oh, I remember. He said, uh, 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 sounds like some kind of code. Uh, uh, I'm out of unlockers, unfortunately. Oh, well. I highly recommend... I highly recommend this 50 bottle of Natopian wine, smooth with a slightly acidic fragrance. You must try it. Um, I'm 11. Huh, oh, am I drunk? No, I don't have such a function. Oh god. Guys, I'd like to point out that Dingo is not black, he's Native American. I'm busy researching how that program could get drunk. It's fascinating. Oh. Oh, no. I think I figured it out. I know how it was done. Well, well... It's the table, it's the buffet, it's the mirror. It's the mirror, the mirror is rigged somehow. The mirror, how? Oh, you were talking about the, oh, oh, okay, never mind. That was very presumptuous of me. Forgive me, guys. Well, it's... Reflection, mirrors reflect things, correct? So when this mirror reflects light, it goes like this. Oh, he beamed it into the thing. Maybe it's travel along over we'll infrared rays when you check in. That's it, using a mirror to reflect the rays. You could check in even from way off. So if we work back from the view comp, we can figure out where the thief is. Exactly. I hadn't quite figured it out that far yet. So we'll trace the light path back out and hunt the, out of, We'll trace the light path back and hunt out the thief. Why is Lance running animation? Because he has fucking roller skates on, obviously. So it would have come. Wait. So, oh, oh, reflected by that, and then off of that. Right? It's a ventilation shaft. Maybe the thief got out that way. Let's take a look. Are you okay? Uh, I'm okay. Quick, the bridge up ahead. They've hijacked the ship. Ugh. What? Hand over the booster system. It's you! Aren't you the guy from before? Dingo, why are you doing this? The booster system's our enemy. Enemy? Ubercorp developed this booster system, and it was their resort that ruined my village. There'll be more people like me if their booster system spreads around the world. I won't let that happen. If you really want the booster system back, jack in there and take out my Navi in the ship comp. Doesn't look like talking's gonna get me anywhere. If that's how it has got... If that's how it's got to be. Jack in! Colonel! Power up! I have never roller skated before. The cyber hatch is now in operation due to flooding. There's no access beyond here. Please turn back. But you don't look like you're going to do that. I would tell you how to get around, but I don't know. Do you want to ask anyway? Very well. The key to unlock the cyber hatch is at the bottom of the slope that's near it, but the lower part of the slope is underwater. Underwater, the, oxy the oxygen gauge on this right of the screen will go down. If it gets to zero, your HP will start to drop. If your oxygen runs out when you have only one HP left, the area safety system will cut it and get you out. Do you understand so far? Good, then I'll carry on. 
You'll find bubbles, eddies, and currents underwater. Collecting bubbles will restore your oxygen, but if you get trapped in an eddy, your oxygen will drop suddenly. Hit a current. Excuse me. Hit a current, and it will sweep you along. But you can use the control pad against the flow to stop. That uses a lot of oxygen, though, so be careful. Near the key, there is an emergency device that can return you to a safe place in an instant. Use it wisely. Do you understand so far? Good. That's all I've got to tell you. If you want me to go over it again, just ask any time. I can tell you as many times as you want. So anyway, good luck. Certainly feels more like a dive man type of stage, doesn't it? Oh boy. Submarine fella. Ooh, side oh side bubble. Oh, okay, this is what they look like now. Whoa. Fucking Neosi, the fuck are you doing, man? Okay. There we go. I love the fuck. Uh, I love the music of this stage, by the way, it's very cool. fucking day. Uh, I do not have the get in chip now. that had like water panels Whoop. yeah there are quite a few uh, reformed villains uh, in both versions of these of this game. <laughs> Yeah, someone asked earlier, oh, how did uh, Firefox get Napalm Man? Wasn't he like a former World 3 Navi or something? I don't think... Oh, I need that. That's good. I don't think that they ever addressed that in the game's version, as far as I could remember. Oh, no, he was with Gospel. Okay. Was he with Gospel? 
Yeah. Ah, fuck. Oh. Oh, perfect. Nice. Ta da -dum. Would Tomahawk Man have been uh, censored in the dub? Um, I don't think so, necessarily. I think it would have been, you know what, it's more so that they would have been like, haha, we sure can't make this character sound like a stereotypical, like, Native American chief voice, in the same way that, like, they didn't censor Yahoo, but they also, like, didn't give him, like, you know, like an Apu, like, stereotypical, like, Indian accent or anything, which, I mean, frankly, thank God they didn't. Colonel, really? Oh God! Up. Oh. Ah, shit. Good. Fuck! 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 Jesus. I haven't had Indian food in a long time. Fuck. Fucking, excuse me. Please die. Thank you. All right. Yeah, not so much a surfer dude voice, but I definitely imagine both of them to be just like, you know, young sounding like, I'm a young dude. I may or may not be voiced by a native voice actor, because for back then, like, you know, that was kind of, unfortunately, a bit of an afterthought. I'm sure that if it was done now, uh, in fact, actually, Mac, um, Devin, I wish you could remember his name, the, the lead actor of, um, uh, Dragalia Lost, I believe, um, was a, uh, a native Canadian actor, um, if I'm remembering correctly. Do I like pancakes? I do like pancakes. Haven't had them in a while, but I do like them. Does 
a suit. Yes, do that. Ah. British food is by far the worst ethnic cuisine. That's not true. I've had British food before. It's quite nice. I don't remember. No, I've tried French food when I went to France when I was really young, but I was, I was too young to remember what it was like. Golfing over it. back. Please, God. That's that last one over there. Fuck. Damn you. Damn it! No! Oh, 
is this it? There we go. I thought that they're gonna fucking make me go all the way back here with Mega Man is such a pain in my asshole. Oh, never mind. Okay, good. That's what I needed that I cared about. Oh, okay. I thought that one of the ones that um, he wouldn't accept was the expansion memory, but no, that's great. Perfect. Okay. Where are you? not trying to touch it I'm not trying to touch it ass wipe I hate you I please I fucking I'm gonna kill you oh my god suck it fucking nuts I really hate this. Wow, I hate this. Wow. Oh, God. Please, please, please. Uh, okay. No, fucking die! Seriously! Oh my god, I- oh. I- 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 I can't do this. Why? This is fucking agony. This is such fucking nonsense. Are you serious? <sighs> My fucking side is killing me for some reason. I'm begging you. What do you want? What the actual fuck do you want? They're in sync. I can't get past. This is impossible. This is like actually fucking impossible. Holy fuck. Are you serious? I fucking despise you with every fiber of my being. Holy fuck. Go away, please. Hi, Celtic Guardian. What a wonderful time you've joined us. I... It, mm -hmm. <laughs> I... You're gonna... I'm... <laughs> Ooh. Holy shit. Wow. Okay. Ugh. 
could fucking recover emotionally from that shit. Jesus. Dungeons as much as I do. <laughs> yeah, I was warned. Boy, fucking howdy, I was warned. Oh. Oh, airspin. That's a new one. circle. Cool. Anyway. I'm sweating my ass off. I didn't mean to do that. Fucking die. No, I didn't mean to do that! Ah! Oh, okay, sure. Sure. Have that for later. Have another, sir. What is it? Something else. Uh, excuse me. Uh. So you've come. I am Tomahawk Man. You'll have to beat me if you want the booster system back. Beat you. No trouble. Let's go, Colonel. Battle routine set. Execute. I'll use you to sharpen my Tomahawk. Damn it! Ugh. Ow. What do 
I keep getting fucking hit by that? I got him! Oh, good, and I hit the tomahawk as well. Or the totem, I guess. Ooh. D. E. F. Program advance! Giga Cannon! Yes! Tom Hawkman, the booster system's mine now. What? How? I took it back during the battle. There are too many bad losers around to take any chances. Ugh! Tomahawk Man, this is the end. Wait! Not Tomahawk Man, please! Colonel, stop! What is it, Land? Let him go! Dingo, maybe your village was ruined by Ubercorp, but would your friends and family there really want this? Using force and stealing the booster system is wrong. I know. There was no other way. We complained about how unreasonable Ubercore was, but no one would believe us. We're just country folk. There is another way. Huh? Tomahawk Man, and you, Dingo. Join with us and fight against Nebula. Nebula? Yes. And when we brought down Nebula, the world will take you seriously as warriors of justice. Then people will listen to your complaints. You're right. Yeah, we'd love to join you. Right, Tomahawk Man? No complaints here. Colonel, I hereby swear my allegiance to you. Tomahawk Man on our side. We'll carve through those Nebula navvies and end Area 1. Dingo, Tomahawk Man, welcome to the team. Okay, we'll head into the end Area 1 as soon as we get back to port. The ship returned to the port with the party canceled. Nebula was accused of trying to steal the booster system. And one of its members was arrested. Colonel, let's head over to end area one. I know these are all valid questions about Napalm Man and Firefox and etc., but uh, there are probably not answers to them, unfortunately. Uh, okay, is there a shortcut to get to the Scilab area? There's gotta be, right? Oh, it's pronounced Tomahawk? It probably is. No, Callgrave, we're not at the end of the game yet. Uh, I think that we are... Just about halfway through? Because we've got uh, half of our team now. And we'll uh, actually technically more than that because we uh, we're going to have Tomahawk Man on the next Liberation mission. Yeah, it probably is Tomahawk. Is there... Okay, Scilab area... Scilab 2... Scilab HP... Oh, okay. Where is the Scilab... How do I get to the Scilab homepage, like, from here? That's the level. Oh, is it here? Okay. Okay, that's what I figured. Yeah, that was my, that was my next, uh, my next guess. Oh. 
No, actually, hold on. Let me remember. Get there from, oh, from Oron too. Okay. Oron three. CDC. Oh wait, no, no, this isn't. No, hold on a minute. God damn it! Fucking cooperate. Wait, is it from Oron Two or is it is it Scilab? Fuck. Where am I? Sorry, I'm just trying to look at the maps to see where the fuck I'm going. No, that's Scilab. It's from Oron Two. Oh, and oh, right, 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 right. Okay, okay. Ugh, Lord. All right, I'll just go home then. I don't remember if I've ever actually tried strawberry milk before. I remember always seeing those. There, there was a trio of Powerpuff Girls milk, like Got Milk commercials, and uh, Buttercup liked chocolate milk. Uh, Bubbles liked banana milk, and uh, Blossom liked strawberry milk. If I'm remembering correctly. Ever seen three weird and scary games of Markiplier? Uh, I was shown, like, an episode um, where he went over, uh, oh my god, what is that new game that everybody's freaking out about? With the, it's like a Dora the Explorer CG kind of parody thing. Can't remember the name of it. I watched him play, like, the really early builds of that on, uh, on like, an episode of three weird and scary games. I've seen a couple episodes of the Powerpuff Girls Z anime. Uh, actually had uh, a lot of the same voice actors from Enti Warrior in it. Because it was done over at Ocean. I mean, I did the adventure. Yeah, that was it. confusing. No, I'm going the wrong fucking way. Alright, hold on. Hi! Bye. No, it wasn't Dora, it's dead. It, it, it was the fucking Amanda thing, whatever it was called. Oh yeah, that live-action Powerpuff Girls show got cancelled or whatever. It's a robot master, you wish they could have made a Navi Crash Man! So they could have completed all the remaining Mega Man 2 characters. Excuse me, he's right at the top of the list for me.
I'm scared. There's nothing to be afraid of. Get onto that floor. That's the only way over there. Alright, we're back. Went through all that already. Boy, it seems Sneak Run has expired. Seen ball oh, I've I think I saw Guda play like a little bit of Baldi's Baldi's Basics. If I'm thinking of the right game, hidden path here that leads to Undernet One. Oh, okay. Well, we're gonna be going to the Undernet later on, I believe, right? games that I wish I had now? Uh, not really. Nothing or, not, none of them are jumping to mind, really. Oh, I guess I found it. Sure, I'll fuck around and find out a little bit. Why not? I barely remember. Oh, okay. Can't actually do anything in here yet, looks like. Could have been cool to see some of the Mega Man killers as uh, as navvies. Oh, what? Well, we we've had Punk, right? What are they like? Ballade and uh, Anchor, right? That could have been interesting to see. Can fight Lark Man here later. Oh yeah, that's right. Okay, yeah, that area did look familiar. Okay. Wallow man. You never learn, do ya? You can't pass here. When? This is it. <laughs> Fool coming alone again. Don't think we'll go easy on you because you're alone. Tomahawk man, show him your power. You want this guy taken out? No trouble. You can't win on your own, so you brought back up. So there's one more at the party. You'll still lose. Ha, we'll see. Tomahawk man, carve him up. I'll use you to sharpen my tomahawk. Watch for the swing. See? No trouble. There'll be some more challenging bad guys later, right? They will. That battle really sparked my fighting instincts. I can't sit around here. I want more!
Come on, Len. No time to waste. Right. All right. Here we go. Let me pee before we do this liberation mission real quick. feel something interesting hi when do you want to start the liberation mission no problem start the mission whenever you're ready okay let's go what happened to our other teammate? He'll be here any minute. Sorry to keep you waiting. I had a previous commitment. Everyone, this is Tomahawk Man. He's in charge of offense. It's party time! Watch out for my Tomahawk swing, baby! Hmm, he's full of energy and talented. Colonel, what do you think about the enemy this time? He's strong, no question about that. I see. I wonder who's behind this. Ready to enter a world of pain, are we? <laughs> oh, that must be Mega Man! Now I get it. We must elite him, or we can't liberate the area. Keep yourself calm. We must keep the situation like this. Yes, sir. One more thing. Look over there. Too many dark panels, too few item panels. I'm worried about our order points! got to liberate as wide of an area it wants to preserve our order points. I could definitely handle that. I could swing my tomahawk for six squares wide attack. However, it will also destroy any items, but the barrier key should be sturdy. I think it'll be okay. Hear that, Len? It, yeah. Don't worry. We'll try to recover Mega Man without deleting him. You've got to prepare for the worst. Okay, let's do it, Colonel. Okay, complete the liberation within ten phases. Good luck. Here we go.
Wanna chop around this area? Okay, Tomahawk Man, we're using order points. Timber! Tomahawk Swing! Come, Guardian! This was a mistake. Oh, no. Okay. That didn't happen. None of you saw any of that. All 30 of you didn't see that. You've definitely not seen this whole cutscene before. Not at all. One turn liberation. One turn liberate. Awesome! One turn liberation! Let's do it! Liberate panels! Alright, I've liberated it! Let's begin. Liberate panels! Success. Good work. Liberation complete. Who wants the first taste of my Mega Buster? Oh, thanks for the $2 super chat to cheat. Maybe this will help me get back to normal. I feel my spirit returning to not being an edgy little bitch. Now I'm just a regular little bitch. Thank you for your support. 
I'm stupid. Never write panels. Liberated it. Let's do it. Liberate panels. Oh. Damn it! I could have gotten that! Ugh. Man, I could have gotten fucking one turn with that. Ugh. Liberation complete. A bonus panel. Team become invincible for one phase. Want to shop around this area? Okay, Tomahawk Man, we're using order points. Timber Tomahawk Swing! Mighty. Oh. Great, I liberated it. Liberate panels. Oh, I wasted that.
Okay. Whoo! Yeah, I liberated it. Let's do it. Liberate panels. hit anything, lol. The bright panels. Oh, thank you for the $2 super chat, uh, Trevor Pinkney. Style change. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Unfortunately for you, I'm feeling very dark today. But thanks for the $2. Good work. Liberation complete. Shop around this area. Okay, Tomahawk Man, we're using order points. Timber Tomahawk Swing! One turn liberation! liberated it. <laughs> 
Let's begin. Liberate panels. strategy as always. You see that? One turn liberation. I found a heart. Let's do it. Liberate panels. All right, I liberated it. Liberate panels. Awesome, one turn liberation. I found the barrier key too. Cool, great Tomahawk man. Gundel Soul! Ah, oh, so close. Oh, I could have recovered, son of a bitch. Good work, liberation complete. I found barrier key one. I am not barrier panel one. Cool, good job, Shadow Man. Liberate panels. Great, I liberated it. Nice. Let's do it. Liberate panels.
I got him. All right, I liberated it. I found order points. Okay, Colonel, we're using order points. Let's do it. Screen divide. Son of a bitch! Oh my god, I cannot believe you! Oh, son of a whore! Oh my god, that was like right down to the wire. Holy shit! Good fucking lord, man! Ugh. Oh. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. No, come on! Jesus. Ugh. Liberate panels! Are you serious? Are you fucking serious with that? Like, really? Oh my god, I can't. I can't. Ugh. A lot of fucking bullshit. Please work. Please work. Just for the love of Christ Almighty, work. Thank you. Good enough. I'll fucking take it. Whatever. All right, I liberated it. Let's begin. Liberate panels. Are you serious? complete. I found order points. Devoid.
be fucking me! So, most of all, I fucking hate you! Target confirmed. Sneak attack. Okay, Shadow Man, we're using order points. Yes, sir. <sighs> you stupid fucking bitch. Tomahawk swing. It's fine, doesn't matter. <sighs> Liberate panels. Are you fucking my ass? You are. That's the fucking answer, is you are. Why did I do this with Nightman? Why did I do this with fucking Nightman? What is wrong with me? I hate you. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my fucking god. Oh, this fucking game. I cannot believe this shit.
it. That's fucking it! Oh, mother of fuck. No more dark holes. Nothing will save the dark lords now. Turn the bright. That's not what I need! <laughs> One turn liberation! So you made it this far without my help? I'm impressed. Mega Man, wake up! Mega Man, can you hear me? You're wasting your breath. A dark soul fills this body now. If you want to beat me, you'll have to defeat the body too. There's no other choice. You've got to fight, Lan! Delete the body? But, Mega Man, let's do it. Gundel Soul! <sighs> oh, that was real 
fucking helpful. Ugh. You're good. The dark power makes me invincible. Target confirmed. Sneak attack. Okay, Shadow Man, we're using order points. Yes, sir. Ooh, that's good. Never mind. Take this, Mega Buster! All right, this is our last chance. Liberate panels. Oh, fuck! Oh. <gasps> Can I make it? Damn. Oh, so close! Okay, it's fine, it's fine. You're good, but the dark power makes me invincible. Let's do it! Liberate panels! You bastard! Ah, how poetically sweet. Mega Man, wake up! And with the power of love, da -da 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 that is Sonic music! Roll is the real MVP of this game. What? No! I thought I was invincible! Plan. Ah! All right, I liberated it. Target ten faces. Actual ten faces. Good job. Here's a special reward from the officials. Likes of you can't defeat me! Mega Man, snap out of it! You can't let the dark power control you! Mega Man! Ugh. What is this? I can feel it welling up inside! Mega Man! No, I should be firmly sealed in the dark! Mega Man! When? Silence! I will make the darkness swallow you again! Ugh. The dark power has increased. He's at his limit. Mega Man's soul will never be beaten by the dark power. Come on, Mega Man, snap out of it! <laughs> the dark has him now, completely! You fools. You'd have won if you finished me before! You won't get another chance. Such power. He's in a different league from before. Time to get out, but... A reward for pursuing me this far. I'll try to make this as painless as possible. Stop, Mega Man! Can't you hear me? Are you lost in the dark power forever? Come back! Come back, Mega Man! Come back and... Give me an earful like you used to! Mega Man! <laughs> Lan, Mega Man can't hear you now! This is the end! Dark Cannon! Oh. Mega Man, you're a persistent pest! Lan, I won't give in! As long as I can hear your voice, 
I won't give in to the dark power! Mega Man! You can overcome it! Mega Man! Lamb's come to help me, and everyone's here rooting for me! Stay down where you belong! I will not give in! This body belongs to me! Ah! Mega Man! Mega Man? I'm back, Lan. It was hearing your voice that let me come back. <sighs> He's fallen asleep. But looks like he beat the dark power. Now Mega Man's back, Lan. He can take over. Transfer him in. He really helped us out, Colonel. No need for thanks. Work's work. Mega Man, transfer. I owe you all an apology. As soon as Mega Man lost his self-will, I should have shut him down. If Mega Man hadn't managed to fight his way back before, he'd all have been in real danger. As leader, I should have been tougher. I would respect what you did, Colonel. Anyone could have shut down Mega Man before. But you didn't let the danger sway you. You believed Mega Man would win through. Victory comes to those who believe in their allies. That's what they say, and it sure is true. Mega Man, your faith in your friends really impresses me. Mega Man's soul has communed with tomahawks. <laughs> Looks like the boss has lost his bite, Colonel. Watch it at... W watch it. Okay, I'm jacking out. I'm pushed. You get some rest at Battle's Place too, Colonel. <laughs> I could just take a short break. Uh, would have been cool if he yelled that hub at the end. Yeah, that would have been pretty great. Especially considering later in this game. Hi, Mega Man. Damn Mega Man and his friends. It seems I've underestimated them. To have overcome such a deep-rooted dark power. It'll be a problem if Mega Man can command dark power. <laughs> I'll have to get Hikari to talk him somehow and complete the research. If I can just get his report, then my ambitions will be realized. Dr. Regal! Dr. Regal? Oh, it's you, Cosmo Man. Yes. Actually, no, you know what? Hold on. Now they've taken Mega Man back. All the net areas we've captured are being liberated. I'm not happy about it. I have an idea, Doctor. A way to destroy that meddling Navi team from within. Interesting. Let it be so. Those fools who try to spoil our righteous plan. Let's see how they like the Iron Fist of Rage! Ha <laughs> ha! Where is that report? Several days have passed since Mega Man came back. Having received a call from Beryl, Lan arrives at Scilab Mission Control. Look at our crew. Mega Man's Operator, Lan. Nightman's Operator, Princess Pride. Shadow Man's Operator, Dusk. Tomahawk Man's Operator, Dingo. Good, we're all here. What's going on, Beryl? Don't keep us in suspense. There are three reasons I've got you all here today. Firstly, so you can all meet each other. The Navis know one another already, but this is the first time all of us operators have met. I thought it'd be a good idea for us all to get acquainted. Okay, so what's the second reason? I suppose it's part of getting to know each other. There's someone new I'd like you to meet. Come on in. What? No way! I don't know how he heard about us, but he's been begging me to let him join the team. Uh, Hexby's the name! Uh, pleased to meet you all! <laughs> What are you doing here, Higsby? Do you know him, then? Know him? He's the owner of the chip shop in my town. Why did he join our team, Higsby? Uh, Lan, I, I can't really explain right now. Uh, I, I suppose you could become a... You could say to become a man. Become a man? But you're already a great man. No, no, I, I mean a strong man. A man who can protect the things he cares about. Uh, I've got to take Nebula head on to become a real man. 
Higgs beam. We're talking about nebula here, right? Are you sure you can handle it? He'll be fine. A man protecting something is as strong as they come. He might not be the toughest guy around, but his nav number man is processing power we can use. Exactly! Uh, I'll be useful! <laughs> Uh, tell me the mission, Meryl. Uh, I'm ready for action. <laughs> Fine. The third reason I got you all here today is to brief you for our next mission. Our next task is to liberate Andaria 5. If we succeed, we'll have liberated the entire net. After liberating Andaria, we'll force the leftover Nebula agents into the Undred and round them up. Actually, exactly what net is Andaria part of anyway? Plan explained it to me briefly once like this. End area is the net in End City, a city with a castle that's famous for its giant gargoyle. Gargoyle? It's a huge fish statue on the castle roof. A charm to protect the castle from fires, apparently. Yes, I see. It's the first time I've heard about it. So, Beryl, are we starting the mission right now? We're not doing a recon mission first. No need for recon! <laughs> uh, just leave it to me and number man! You got some guts, huh? Play by the rules and face your enemy head on, right? Exactly. Everyone get ready and send your navvies into end area 4. That's all. At land. I've got something for you, so come by later, okay? Got it. You've got mail, land. Shadow Soul lets you sink by using invisible base kits. It speeds you up. Press X and hold back to use anti-magic. Use the X power attack to swing a long sword two squares ahead. Use the power attack with sword-based chips, and you can hit any enemy from behind. Shadow Soul makes you as elusive as a shadow. I know you'll be able to put it to good use. Tomahawk Soul lets you sink by using wood-based chips. It turns all panels into grass panels, and that's not all. It doubles attack strength for wood-based chips over grass panels. Power attack with X to swing a 3.2 a sized tomahawk. You won't get confused or paralyzed by wood-based traps either. I know you'll be able to put tomahawk soul to good use. Mega Man faced down the dark power within himself. Now, under certain conditions, he can use this dark power, Chaos Unison. You can Chaos Unison by using dark chips. When in Chaos Unison mode, you can press X to use the dark power for a power attack, and don't forget, the dark power is very difficult to control. Holding down X charges up the power within you, causing the dark power to appear and change shape continuously. Time it well and launch your attack, your attack when the dark power is largest. If you succeed, the attacks will be as strong as dark chips. But if you time it poorly and the dark power is small, Mega Man will lose his balance with the dark power. He'll begin to attack him instead. Just remember that. Chaos Unison lasts for just one turn. Furthermore, you can only Chaos Unison when you use Double Soul. Plan well before trying to use it. I need some some of this to fucking relax myself. In fact,
Okay. Oh, wait. Son of a bitch. Oh, oh my god. There we go. Right? Wait. No, never mind. There we go. Okay. Chaos Unison. So now I have Chaos Unison. Just who the heck sent that mail? Okay. I'm going to stop for today. I'm tired and exhausted. Thanks, everybody. Um, I'll be back Friday or Saturday. One of the two. Okay. Oh! Thanks, everyone. Hope you had fun. I did. Thank you for the super chats. Thanks for the support, as always. I will catch you all soon. If you haven't already seen it, and I'll, I'll shoot a link to it real quick. Um, I did a, uh, a new Patreon, uh, Kerblog that was about the, uh, evolution of my art style, and it was super cool. If you'd like to suggest future Kerblog topics like that, uh, you can support me on my Patreon, which is patreon.com slash Kerbifer. Whoops, there we go. Uh, please do. Please do check it out. Please do support me if you can and if you want. Um, and otherwise, I will see you on the next Mega Man stream very soon. And catch y'all later. Bye. I need tea. <laughs> See you guys later.